All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some more Tears of the Kingdom. Um, here with Minoru. Just, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, but well, today we uh have our first armor set fully, not fully maxed out, but we have the set bonus, which is attack up. So that's new. Um, but I do kind of want to get more of these, and there actually is a lead for one of them, which is uh the set of Awakening, and it's right in the Tanagar area, where uh we have to find where these three locations meet, Rain, Piper, and Tanagar. And let's look at my map, and it seems like uh, Tanagar, Rain, Piper, probably someone over here will find it. Uh, so I guess we'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, welcome everyone. Hopefully you're having a good uh, Monday. I almost always forget the day of the week. Uh, and yeah, of course we have our cow glider, because that's always fun. I do need to make it over there well. Um, you know what? Bomb should do the trick. There we go, just for, just for a little uh, kickstart, too. As we kind of get up. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll start with this quest, because we literally just got it at the end of last stream. Uh, we finally found the last piece of the Ember set, which had like a, a riddle book at the end. That was uh, just kind of showing us this location. Which we were here before, but I wasn't aware of any puzzle, because... Well, it seems kind of hidden. Because we have to go, uh, yeah, rune pillars stand together. One of those pillars opens the way to my treasure. So we'll figure it out. But yeah, it'll be nice to do everything, uh, more hero stuff and, uh, also a lot of amiibos I want to scan. Um, now that we have this Twilight Princess stuff, I feel like it could be fun to try some of that, uh, well, for some of the Twilight Princess type gear, like the Paraglider skins. Which I do have, uh, two amiibos actually for that. I'm going to start with them. Just as we're uh, kicking things off. So, one is the OG Amiibo, the Link from Smash Bros, which was my first one. Like, the Gen 1 Amiibos. Um, I already have a Pona, <laughs> but it was from Breath of the Wild, so that's not helpful. Well,. <laughs> The only way to not get a point is by scanning those ones where, uh, anywhere where a horse can't spawn. So, like, Rito Village or something like that. Korok Forest, the desert. So, never mind. We'll actually redo that. Uh, I didn't know a pony was going to spawn. So, oh well. <laughs> but yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, <laughs> we're just starting off with this quest. And we're going to crucify Koroks. There's not a lot of Koroks left to crucify. We have, uh... Well, we have half of them done. <laughs> but in case there's a really bad one somewhere, we'll uh, give it the proper punishment. Last time wasn't a crucifixion, but we did uh, attach it to a giant spinny device. And we gave it quite the migraine. Uh, you know, at least 10 migraines per second. That's a nice torture ratio. So yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. Hmm. You have to register the second opponent to start getting stuff. I mean, if it's anything like Breath of the Wild, uh, sometimes it works odd because there's two amiibos that give the Twilight Princess loot table. Um, just make sure to scan those ones in an area where a horse can't spawn, and then it'll give you normal drops instead of a horse, so, which obviously makes sense. So we'll go to like, uh, I don't know, it can be like Rito Village or something. So I'm, I'm just throwing that one out there. There's quite a few. Do I ship Z-Link? Um, I've never been a big shipper, honestly. I think uh, the relationship's really nice, and, you know, I just see it as a, just a very nice platonic relationship. Always have. Uh, but I don't know, just, especially in, like, this game, Breath of the Wild, like, I really love just, you know, the bond that Link and Zelda have. Like, both people who have very sworn duties, but, uh, you know, have their own path to get through it. Uh, so, yeah, not, not really a shipper, but I really like the sort of relationship that they have. Okay, there's a Gleok. Well, <laughs> as a hero, um, it seems like a hero's job. What's a hero's weapon? This one? <laughs> I killed a dragon before. <laughs> Just headshots. Okay. Fire in a straight line. I don't think that's going to work well for you. Not at all. Could use some nice Gliak horns. 
Now oh, this thing's awesome. And then we back away so we don't turn into a uh, you know, grass fodder. Ooh. Is there any way to stop those fireballs? I don't know. But yeah, welcome everyone. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> oh, you know, maybe why stop them? Let's use them. Picked a very grassy area for this. Avoid that. <laughs> All right. Get to the final phase. Uh, get some wheat. Yeah. Farm and slash. That's my harvester. Yeah, I can use some more wheat. Oh. Uh, not like that. And this set gives us a little bit of attack up. I think it's like a level one set bonus. One, two, and a three. We're almost done. Froggy! <laughs> See? We're skilled to do two things at once. Farming monster and grass. Let's see it's on its last life. It's okay. Ooh, thank you, Frog. We're gonna let him do his thing. <laughs> yeah. We'll miss you, Colgara Blade. Okay. Um, you know, I'm. <laughs> I'm okay with moving a bit all the way. Woo. Super fire. Wait, is super fire gone? It is. Um, what if we stand behind here? Two hearts of damage, not bad. It's like I need to hit something special, I think. Not me. I'm not special. Go! Not like we have a lot of stamina for this. Uh oh. Um, so we eat a little more. I come mildly prepared sometimes. Stand bulb. We'll have to fall to the rest. Wow. Yay. <laughs> well. Those are fun. It's like once you figure out how they're sort of done, like they're not that bad. My favorite's still the uh, the ice glare by a lot, especially the one by that uh, well, in the snowfield stable area. It's my first one in uh, I don't know the whole horseback sequence trying to dodge all the ice. Uh, they're so much more fun to find on horseback, and then actually having to like cower from the ice the first time. Like, yeah, that glare fight one of my favorite memories with this game. By a long shot. Okay, now we need to figure out this riddle, though. Um, so, to mount the frontier, rain, piper, and tanagar meet. Ruin pillars stand together. Okay. So, to mount the frontier, um, rain, piper, and tanagar. So, I think it's talking about rain, piper, tanagar. It would be the ancient columns. These are kind of general locations. So, I think it's just. Anywhere here. Um, ruin pillars stand together. And one of them opens the way. So, I mean, there's only a couple. We could just check every single one. Is it, like, on top of one? Oh! <laughs> I was like, wait, that's a little... Out of place? Cool. Did the ice glare in stealth mode? <laughs> you just gotta go in, uh, with less detection. Ancient Columns Cave. Ooh. Yep. This one's not a Zonai Cave, just Ancient Hyrulean itself. I always like how there's the two types of runes. It's not much of the Ancient Hyrule stuff, especially in this game. Uh, I'll go down there next. Okay, uh, 
chest first. I'm excited for this. I think I know what it is. Tunic of Awakening! Legend said this armor was worn by a hero who explored a mysterious island that one could visit but not leave. The island makes one want to wear it, but also not wear it. Huh. <laughs> it's still just like plain. I love it. I mean, I know what's going for. It's uh, this guy. Which, the headpiece is the one thing I got spoiled for me in this game. Or one of the few minor things. Uh, that, that was pretty unavoidable. Because I'm very late in the playthrough now. Uh, so I believe it's this set. I will figure out the rest. Um, here? <laughs> Visitor from afar. She thirsts for treasure. Remain unslacked. Read on. Discover the trousers of awakening in a strange land. And have hidden them away. <laughs> Who is this Misko person? How, how are they just like time traveling or traveling around all the eras to get all this stuff? In the ruins of Hyrule Field, where warriors once test the Colosseum? <gasps> Wait, I saw those statues. I'm like, what is this for? Offer your soldiers claymore. Well, this is cool. Huh. And they're out of all places? Okay. Ancient Hyrulean stuff here. Hyrule Battleground over there. Yeah, we'll figure this out. Um, also, yeah, please no, like, spoilers for, like, any of the quests we're doing in chat, because, uh, I do like to th figure out things blind. Especially on a first playthrough. It's, like, it take a bit longer if it means solving the puzzle. <laughs> 69! We almost got them all. I'm sorry, Reaper. Uh, I actually do have a soldier. What if I didn't? Was I supposed to have specifically that weapon? Because... Huh. Well, interesting. Guess I have the right thing. Let's go check that out. Yeah, at first I'm like, there was nothing here besides the Gliok. And then also taking a picture for one of the stables of, like, the sunrise here. Because we have most of those done. Um, honestly, just a lot of stuff done. We were running on our last few side quests. Um, yeah. Not many left. So, yeah, all the playthrough info is we update it before every stream in the description. So, in terms of side quests, a lot of shrines done, Koroks. We only have a couple more compendium slots, too. So, we're doing very good. <laughs> I just need my... Uh, Metro Wiz Road. Okay. Yeah, so we will do that thing. <laughs> Wait a second. Is it going to take me to all Gliok locations? Because this is where a fire Gliok was. Coliseum is where a thunder Gliok was. Is that an intentional pattern here? I mean, I can't really say pattern with only two things, but maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, we're very far, and it's been very fun. Um, but yeah, just a few more streams, and we pretty much did everything besides Koroks, and I would say. And then we can start our challenge ones, so I'm very excited for that. Okay. Well, I can't use certain weapons, clearly. Oh, that was a little too late on the fuse. Here, you take that bomb. Oh, it was a long throw, what? <laughs> Since when? Uh, I didn't need that one. Ow. <laughs> Got very close to that bomb. Okay. <laughs> you don't know the power of the ego. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Sometimes it does. No. Okay. More the intentional strategy here. I'm doing my best. Okay. Oh, crash on something midair. Anyone have a weapon around? <laughs> oh. Not a free one. You. Weapon, please. Thank you. 
Never mind. Oh, actually, yes, mind. I mean, <laughs> plan B. Um, we take our own bombs. We got to get out of here. Bomb. Get out. Whoa. So we'll just take this temporarily. I'll give it back. I'm not that stingy. Whoop! You take that. The trade off. Oh. We got like mixed green tunics going on here. Ah. Uh, thank you. I'll take the apples. You chill out. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> I'm cool with zone 8 power. <laughs> As we go... No. That's all yours. Although easily these guys should just throw them back. Bye-bye. Oh! <laughs> to my health, too. more fair using, please. <laughs> Try to get a weapon to and hold him back. We just got the group effort. Box, box. Okay. Right. These are like our boxing gloves. <laughs> Rocky mode activated. Wait, what if I fuse a shield? Can I use it? No, I can't. Okay. That's already my shield. Get shielded. The best offense is defense. And box. Cool. This is just such a fun camp to take out. Move around. Do a little thing. And then we'll jump out. Uh, also eat some food. This stuff does not have a lot of defense, this armor. I wonder how we're going to upgrade it. <laughs> how do I have 9 and 9 bl Bright Bloom Seeds? <laughs> we maxed out a long time ago, actually. Going to be honest. Um, you know, just a few caves, that all, that's all it really takes. By a few, I mean... Like at least a third of the caves in the game. If you start looting everything... Yeah, it goes by pretty fast. I'll say I'm going to switch for this. There we go. Yeah, hey, welcome everyone. Uh, watch my Breath of the Wild runs. Thank you. Yeah, we'll we'll pick back up with this game soon. Um, just want to get a little bit further in this playthrough, and then challenge runs soon. So yes, yeah, likely we'll still be 100%ing this save across many weeks to come. But uh, the first challenge one will be streaming soon, at the earliest. Uh, like two weeks from now kind of thing. Thank God. So not this weekend, but maybe the next. Nothing to officially announce, though. Uh. So yeah, before Coliseum, I want to do this, because uh, <laughs> this was a minigame I was struggling with uh, quite a long time ago. And I went back once after a stream and realized it was a lot easier after figuring out something I could do. Because the goal is to hit this bell as hard as you can. Uh, get as much decibels out of it. And we built like a really uh, kind of chaotic like catapult mechanism. It took us a while to build. We tried doing a few. Uh, we got pretty high in the Megadon scale. Like I want to say like 130-ish maybe. It was around there. But I realized there's a much easier way. Um, and it's something we can auto build. Because yeah, rockets have a lot of force, but not nearly enough to get anything too big. Um, a catapult I'd even more if you attach, you know, make sure it's lifting up a lot of weight. Um, I'm trying to find the base of this one. Super spring. Because if you have a bunch of springs, and if you stake it so it stays down there, well, three of them, not high enough, but it has a lot of power. That's exactly what we need. So we'll take... 
of these. Whereas I could have used some of those parts, but that's fine. Or just a steak, rather, so. Um, we're going to build a second one. Because if you do it one by one, then we can't play stuff super high then. There's only like 20 things, but I always misplace where everything is. Where's springs? There's springs. I think six should be enough. If you do all that. There we go. There's going to be a lot of power near the top because... <laughs> doesn't even show it. The bell just rattles. So. Wait, what? Huh? Wait. Wait, what, what, what happened? I thought... Why didn't we get a score or anything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to get a score. He, he, he didn't even call, comment on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is so confusing. I have no idea what happened. Um, where is this? Yeah, it's right above the Coliseum. Okay, we're going to try that again. We can just go to our auto build. I... <laughs> it's going to cost a lot of zonite, but it's fine. You know what? Supplement it. Just take a couple, please. Only 15, you know what? I promise this was a good idea. Yeah, it literally destroys it. Does it have to deal with me using auto build parts? Is that like not allowed or something? You know, we're gonna reload that because I just spent a lot of my <laughs> hard earned wares. Um, I, I was scammed actually. <laughs> All right. I did this once after a stream because I was trying to do it on a stream, couldn't figure it out, and then. It just snapped with me, and it's like, is this, would the spring thing actually be good? I'm just going to test it, and it did. And this was weeks ago, and I just never been back. But I am so confused. Okay. Uh, maybe let's not use auto build. You don't have to use just what he gives you, because I did this before, and it gave me a, uh, a point value and everything. <laughs> yeah, carnival game moment. They're like, wait, you're not supposed to game the system like that. Um, okay, no auto build. Maybe it's because I built it from scratch last time. So, like, this would be okay. Steak. <laughs> Only half the more. Okay, let's build it flat, maybe. Um, that's fine. It just has to be on there. Not fully flat, but you get the gist. Go like that. You just need three. Three on each, rather. Wouldn't it be nicer if I built on a flatter surface? It would. I'm stuck at this. Yeah. The springs have kind of a odd way of coming together. And if you mess it up, you gotta redo that whole top layer because the springs hate you. See, this would be fine if it cooperated. But it's like, who, who in the right mind sticks a spring like that? Just give me a stronger fuse, please. 
I'm already attached a rocket to this thing and send it to the plateau. There we go. Let's do a nice. You have like nowhere else to go. And it still shows annoyance. You know what? I'm sure it's fine. We have the springs. It gets the point across. It definitely does. Now we put in our stake. Get me mega dinged. There we go. That should work. I don't get it. I don't get it. I did this before. Wait. Yeah, rockets will not work. Like, you'll get a very weak score. Because rockets, they have a lot of just, like, well, it's enough force to constantly move something, but it's not, like, a lot of, like, slamming force. So. Okay, wait. Let me just... Does, is this broken? That should be, like, 20 points. Ah. What? Throw a mushroom at it, you'll be surprised. Okay. No, I am... What? Okay, put something at the end. This is very weird. Because I've done it before, I was just going to be like, show it really quick and then move on to the Coliseum. <laughs> I'm sure it's not too much power, I don't know. <laughs> Never knew there was such thing as too much power. You know, in a weird way, it could be right, right, though. And trust me, rockets will not do it very hard at all. It sounds odd. I feel like everyone tries it, but... No, in practice, not very good. It's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna... Yeah, put something at the end, so let's remove the top spring. <laughs> Thank God for climbing. Um, metal boulder. Yeah, we'll try the um, mushroom thing afterwards to see how it goes. Oh, perfect. It just barely does not work. Elevator. You got this. Thank you. Oh. I guess that's too heavy. You know, a rock. I also just realized I could do this. Which, uh, I think a rock will be okay. It better be okay. And then we grow from the bottom, so we have more. Let's go. The rock adds more weight. Yeah, I just did pure springs before, and it worked just fine. Okay. I'm like going insane. <laughs> um. Maybe no. Okay. That is so weird. In fact, I think I have video evidence of me doing this. I'm hoping so. I really hope so. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm just going to go to the spot, and if it's not there, it's not there. 
Yes, I do. I do. Okay. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Oh my god. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. I'm not crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yep. Uh. 158. Okay. <laughs> this was a while ago. It was like one of the few things I ever did off stream in this game. Because I was just... <laughs> it was irking at me really bad. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Let me do uh, six, seven. <laughs> It's a heroic duty, all right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That, fu that last one is pretty badly centered. I'm going to fix that now. Okay. Now, this doesn't work. It's just I blame the universe. So, okay. so two more than before. I'm not sure. It only sways because it wants to. Well, huh? You're not telling me that we just didn't have enough last time. Yeah, it was me. Look what the bell is capable of. Your head's still ringing. Ah. That wasn't quite the 150. Uh, maybe just because of the slant. We still get a topaz. Aww. Okay, let's do it once more, but just center it better. Um, <laughs> interesting. I'm not sure why the last one didn't count, but if we shoot it with an arrow, we at least get a 25. And I don't know, it made a much louder sound than an arrow. You did a catapult? Yeah, that's what we did on stream. Uh, spent like an hour trying to make devices, and our best one was a catapult. Okay, I know it's using up a lot of resources, but it's okay. Gotta go up. If it's being blocked, it doesn't work. Okay. Whoop, a little bit of sway. There we go. New record, so it must already be better. <laughs> was that thunder? I hope so. Oh, it was a sound explosion. Okay, for all it was worth. Ah. Well, it's better than the last time. I could sit here all day listening to that. Well, you get the gist. If you want to game the minigame a little bit, do that. But realistically, there's much better rewards you can get by doing other things. Uh, but yeah, well, that was a awkward event to happen. Let's make it a bit better. Chris, are you a core rock? No, just arbitrary rock. Thunder. Hmm. I can gain the elements a little bit. Don't have full rubber. But I prefer this. Oh yeah. <laughs> a proper thunder battle. Um, he's not weak to a lot of stuff, so we're just gonna use this. Go! Oh, I can't attack him there. I was not aware of that. Woo! Not while you're skydiving, you can't. Okay, well, let's make this quick. Uh-oh. That oh, actually was good. Okay. It's a bit scary. I'll take an apple. I'll heal up after this. Nice. <laughs> I'll let it run its course. Thunder's not gonna do much here. Thank you, Tulin. Not quite. Damn it. I know I have a Thunder Helm, but these are... It doesn't block all these types of attacks. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's even more thundery. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep. He can't keep his cool. We'll uh, go with this. Actually. Thunder. I got the explosions. Wait, no. I think I made a mistake. Yes, it worked. Okay. <laughs> We're good. One second later, and yeah, that lightning would have <laughs> destroyed my method of upwardness. There we go. Get a Minero. I'm going to call the rest of them in. Group efforts. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Charge. Under that. Nope. Water. Not much. He's got the block. He's got the range advantage, too, so. Uh, never on the ground for this long. Okay. Let's go in with a. Uh, I didn't mean that. What if I use the Dazzle Fruit against them? Ooh! It does work very well. They always put him in the King Lear. Wait, it grounds him! Accuracy not too good. But damage. Alright. Alright, guys. We have our own. No, they're gonna kill him too slow. Just hero mode. Or is this gonna be a Queen Gliok? <laughs> a larger, badder version. Okay. It's okay. Lightning Hole and Dice. We got some lightning to dodge. Whoop. I got this. Uh oh. I don't think it's actually much of a problem with the lightning helm. There you are. Okay, very simple. And if your goal is just to plop down, it is mine too. Let's go! Hit him! Woo! Plunge. <laughs> Let you guys finish this one. It's all yours. Thanks, Yonobo. Final hit. <laughs> yeah! He's a proud guy. Alright. We got this. We're going to upgrade more of the dragon tunics. And, uh... Yeah, I always wonder what this was. I was like, there's something here. But why did I never think to do this? I really should have thought there was something more. So our objective is to, um, yep, mystical treasure, ruins, uh, offer your soldier's claymore to the two sculpted soldiers. It's not my claymore, but. Unless it's supposed to be like that. No. Okay, how does this one do it? Gotcha. We're gonna try to do it as precise. It's okay, you got this. One second. Feels weird, but I just need to brighten it. There we go. <laughs> this will make the skill issue go away. Oh. Guess you just had to rotate it right first. <laughs> Looked like you had to bring your own, yeah. Well, I did say bring your soldier's claymore. Ironically, we just happened to have our own, so I was like, oh. It, it knew. <laughs> no, it didn't. Aha. Coliseum Ruins Cave. Huh. This is the. The past training room. Interesting. Well, <laughs> guess we'll get fitted in our gear. It'll be the 
Tunic of Awakening. <laughs> Plasticky look. Probably the the trousers now. Nice. Trousers worn by a hero who explored a mysterious island. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Very plasticky, as again, the amiable suggests. So, um, well, the thing is, I noticed kind of an odd pattern. I again might be coincidence, but the first one was near a flame gliok. Second one was near a thunder gliok. So could the final one be in a nice area? I know there's a frost gliok there, one here on the snow shelf, and probably one in the highlands that we didn't see. Visitor from afar, should your thirst for treasure remain unslacked, read on. Discover the Mask of Awakening in a strange land and fit it in a way. Solve the riddle. On Hyrule Ridge in Ludfo's land, ruins sleep beneath the towering mushroom. <gasps> the Thunder Plateau! I, it was always blink in the game. Like, there has to be something to this. Connect the southern column's midday shadow to the northern. At the shadow center, the way to my treasure will open. Okay. Please, no one spoil this. I want to figure this out myself. Um, I always knew there was something here, there. I was like, it, it was too empty, you know? First, let's make sure that's what it, they're talking about. I'm not jumping the gun. On Hyrule Ridge in Ludfo's land. Um, yep, Ludfo's bog. Hyrule Ridge. Um, ruins sleep beneath the towering mushroom trees. Connect the southern column's midday shadow to the northern. So it might be like another hidden button that we have to find. And the time of day, kind of like a sundial to find it. And that's the sort of uh, vibe I'm getting from this puzzle. So, okay, I'm very excited. Um, yeah, I was, a couple weeks, maybe two weeks ago, we were doing a lot of uh, stuff around this area. And it seems like to be one of the more dry areas in the game. I mean, it was similar with Buff of the Wild, but they removed even more in this. How do you get the first Awakening quest? Uh, we actually found it. Um, it was where the Ember set was, like the, the chest piece for that. It was the last piece. It was an Elden kind of Igoron City. Um, so we got that actually at the end of last stream. Because I was looking for the rest of the Ember set, which looks insanely cool. Um, we got the set bonus on it. Hot weather charge. Which makes your charge attack faster, I think. In hot weather. But yeah, it looks awesome. And yeah, literally, oddly enough, there was a thing there that opened once we got it. That told us, uh, where this stuff was. Started that quest line. If I can figure this out, then do that shrine. Not many shrines left, so let's do it. Okay, so midday would be noon. Um, Ruin Sleep Beneath. Okay, connect the southern column's midday shadow to the northern. So southern, it should go like there. It's over. It's funny because I noticed all three of these platforms before, but didn't know what to solve. So I didn't find any of them on accident. Okay. Oops, should have done wood first, but do it in fire, it's fine. Or grass. Okay. So southern columns midday shadow to the northern. Um, it's gotta be some like hidden button in the grass. I don't know. I'm used to the riddles. Breath of the Wild had so many. In Tears, his riddles are a lot easier. Um, but that's fine. They're still very fun. Yeah, so it's always sunny here, which probably is because of this. You need the shadows to appear. Oh, connect the southern columns, midday shadow. Um... But connecting it to the northern. Hmm. 
You know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult is this riddle? Let me see how much I'm overthinking. Because uh, if I'm connecting a midday shadow... Okay. L let me think. Um, you can make a shadow longer by... Well... Putting planks within it. So... By connecting a shadow, are we, like, following a shadow? Or are we, like, putting something over it to literally make a shadow longer? That That's, uh... Okay. I could be greatly overthinking, so let me just take a moment to... Kind of run across my thought process. So the whole thing kind of creates, like, a sundial in a way. Making a midday shadow. <laughs> Some people have an easier time. <laughs> Extension. It, it feels like I'm supposed to move something to create a bigger shadow. Which ought to be pretty elaborate. I mean, I know Breath of the Wild had a quest like that. So it's not fully off the table. So hello, Hydax. Um, but usually it'll give me like something to build with, you know? Trees. I'm connecting a shadow. Trees will create a shadow, right? Okay. Let's do a little test. Test build of this. They indeed do create a shadow. It might be too late now, but... Also, by southern, does it mean, like, south of the map, or... Because, you know, like, Gerudo Town, like, when it refers to all the different gates, it's to its own perspective. Um, Southern Column's Midday Shadow to the Northern. So first let's make it midday again, just so I can get a better perspective. I might get some elevation just to kind of see. Okay. The Southern Column, not its Southern Column. This would be the Southern Column, that would be the Northern Column. Yep, this would be a northern column. But the thing is, they would both be facing kind of out awkwardly. Yeah. Well, I think I think we're on the right path. So there's a bunch of trees around. And sometimes the riddle points to that. Like, in the riddle here, we have, uh, yep, beneath the towering mushroom trees. I feel like that's, well, both a locational hint and... Hints on doing something. Yeah, I feel like you're just connecting the shadows. We're gonna try that. Which ought to be very interesting. Um, but I have to start somewhere. Process of elimination. Uh, yeah, maybe six might have to do. I'll say I see he puts that, uh, uh, that ascend rock over there in case you need it. So your problem is, it just all seems like a shadow, so it's like... Hmm. If we take every tree on here, line it up, Theoretically, we should have enough. Hmm. I'm connecting the shadows, so I'd have to kind of make a bend, wouldn't I? It doesn't matter which way, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember in Breath of the Wild, there was a puzzle, uh, 
where you gotta create a shadow with a snowball. Like you had to roll a snowball, get a big enough, pick it up, and cast that shadow on a certain pedestal at a certain time of day. So it kind of reminds me of that one. Which case is actually really cool. That one was like in like the south of the canyon area. They're not connecting right now, okay. Um Let's get that there. So we can just campfire that. Yeah, not the tree. Because if it's properly at noon, then the shadow should be aligned in the way you want to. Okay. We'll bring it up a little bit. Um, and then we'll see whatever error. Um, they're they're kind of connected right now. They're most definitely connected. Maybe it's too long, I don't know. Okay, they are definitely connected. Um, maybe the other way, I don't know. <laughs> it's midday. Okay, when it was unconnected, it worked. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, uh, that, I can see why that can be very tricky. There's nothing in the game that really plays with shadows, so it's really its own puzzle. That was cool. That was really cool. And the reward is, or the reward is like the one thing I'm aware of. I'm like 99% spoiler free, but. Everyone shared this too often. Yep. <laughs> the plastic head. So, there it is. It was like, even when I wasn't looking at stuff, like, I accidentally glanced at a YouTube thumbnail, like, two weeks after the game came out, and someone had that face, and I just thought it was like, I don't know, YouTube thumbnail, someone just made it. And then, like, two weeks later, I accidentally glanced at it again, because every YouTuber made this a thumbnail for everything, because, you know, they like clicks and don't care about spoilers. Um, but... That is so funny, okay? I never actually looked at it for more than a second. <laughs> Literally plastic man. This is the best mask. You know, you have, you know, I'm sure Bacoblins, all that. Uh... Wait, is it literally the first outfit too? The first here, yep. Order of importance, you know? Dark Link, really cool. Fierce Deity, and <laughs> the Trinity of Evil Outfits. Yep, Dark, Fierce Deity, Awakening. I don't think there's a fitting weapon, because we pretty much have all those compendium slots, but it never blinks, it's just a mask. It's like a Charlie Brown character or something. Okay, that's kind of funny. Um, oh, so you know what I forgot? Bubble Frog. I, I did, didn't I? I don't remember the last time I forgot a Bubble Frog, but I did. Um, gotcha. We'll go back for it. It's, it happens. How many zone bows? I have three, quite a lot of zone bows. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that's a construct bow. We'll use that. Well, good. let's see what the upgrades are on this thing. This is cool so far. We're gonna, I don't know, take some, to some battles. There is the two command squads we didn't do. That's like south of the map. Um, I believe it's Flaxels. I think that's his name. There we go. Okay. 70. We'll get the other bubble frog soon. Um, shrine can wait. Yeah, I really would like to see the upgrades. Do we have a travel medallion? I don't mind placing it if we do. We don't. Um, that is my Mushroom Cave one, so, you know, we're gonna pass. Okay. I gotta see what the, the damage is for the upgrades on this. 
Because I'm sure it'll be kind of fun. We've been doing like so many of the armor upgrades, have a bunch of stuff maxed out. Um. <laughs> yeah, sorry, out of the 69. Yeah, caves, I think I have like 30 left, so. Because like you only need like a third of the gems to get all the cool little uh, masks and whatnot, loopy sets. And how do I get the Paragoner Fabric? Uh, Ocarina of Time Amiibo. Which reminds me, we could do a couple of Amiibos. Um, because now that we got our little cheapy guy, let, let's scan him in. Because if we can get his glider too, that'd be really cool. Um, cheapy link. Please don't fall off. Thank you. Watch it gives it to us because we're just fully clad. Nope. It's okay, we'll get one at least. My right, barrels have infinite health. Barrels, no! Minoru, thank you! <laughs> Very clutch. <laughs> Those legs of yours work strong. <laughs> this is so goofy. Okay, um... A couple right now, a couple later. I guess following the trend, we could do 8-bit. <laughs> More of the retro links. Because we only have a few gliders, so... It'd be nice to have more. Even just one more new one. A worse version, okay. Um, here. Actually, no, I could use that. There we go, thank you. Oh, nope! <laughs> Two of them didn't want me doing all the archery. Blew those arrows out of sight. Okay, um, let's do two more for now. Uh, I have to do, well, Wolf Link. We used to actually spawn him in the last game. Um, but this game is totally different. Instead, <laughs> we just get his- Whoa! Oh, we got lucky this time! Usually it just stops the bad ones, but... Oh my god, we got a full four-course meal. <laughs> To like a carnivore's perspective, uh, but yeah, Wolfling's gone and just turned to meat, or rather, I guess he hunted. So, okay, last one for now. Do a couple more a little later. Zelda. <laughs> yeah, pumpkins. That's my favorite part. That's fine. You know what? We got a big meat party from Wolf Link. And yeah, we can throw stuff off the edge. I mean, it didn't really help us there, but uh, it clears into space. Yeah, a couple more later first. Let's see what we got over here. <laughs> I literally got Thanksgiving in July. What a nice time to celebrate. You know, summer doesn't have a lot of holidays, but. Summer's nice as is. But of course, they put all the holidays at like the end of fall, early winter. And then you have to dread the rest of the winter, so. But for most people. It's okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. <laughs> of course, star fragments. <laughs> Should have ex shouldn't have expected anything else. But luminous stones. We need them for our shine, you know? We got all that polish. Oh, goblin brain is happy. <laughs> oh. Do I know duplication glitches? I don't. Uh, I know a lot got patched, and I am not interested in any because it's like, you know, takes away the spirit of the game. In fact, the only really thing I used that I looked up from the playthrough was like the sky bike sort of thing. Because it's helpful for the depths, but um, otherwise, yeah, I just like trying to do everything myself because it's like organic. Mm. Yeah. What's my favorite music in this game? Uh, I feel like the correct answer is the Kulgara theme. Like, that's just... Uh, that's like a top 10, like, Zelda song of all time. Easily. Like, and that's broad. Like, you could say top 5 easily. Like, phenomenal. Rito Village theme, all that. Uh, love Kulgara's theme. But okay, um, we'll just go, like, with... A couple more upgrades. Just one or two. But yeah, the Star Fragment upgrades make it not fun. Actually, yeah, we're good for now. 
you don't have to go like uh, star fragment farming. But also, yeah, if we just do skydiving at nighttime, I think that helps kind of get things kicked off. Maybe we can get lucky by getting one of those uh, multi-star fragments. I don't know if they exist in this game, but uh, in Breath of the Wild once in a while you can get two at once. Mm. But yeah, dupe glitches ruin the thrill of nighttime, or just any grind, which is, yeah. The grinds in this game are fun, because all the content's very varied. Um, a bunch of random stuff. I don't know what that's for. Um, I'm just gonna remove it. I don't think it's anything good. I was kind of thinking though, because it's been a bit. Um, well, I don't even think we have the quest for it, but there should be one of the squads, like, like the monster control ones we could do. And there's one over here. That could be a good starting point. We didn't even start this one. Um, we did, obviously, the other two a while ago, but, I don't know, take on some big battles. Maybe bring in some big machinery. I'm sure that's fine. We love when you can collect star fragments while skydiving. It's so cool. Plus, it makes it a little nicer, because, well, in this game, I don't think you can get star fragments from killing Lynels anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but at least there's an alternate second way. <laughs> Silly link. Let's go nighttime mode. I'll increase our chances by a bit. Because if we can get this set to level 2, that'll be awesome. It's like the only new green tunic in the game from what I've seen. And yeah, the control squad's very close by. Stars. No stars. Hmm. Well, <laughs> what silly contraptions do we got? We got our beam cycle. Got a lot of different elements on this one. Hmm. I do like our beam cycles. You know, let's go with this. This one's very funny. Want to try beam everything? <laughs> it's speedy, it's convenient. Hectic laser fun. I believe that's our camp that we're kind of covering up. <laughs> this green goofy link on green zone I craft. Oh, and Korok too. Where are you going? Through there? Hmm. Like, you can hit your ride. Oh, green friends. Uh, here, just right on top. You get the bird's eye view. That's just a stasis set. That. Perfect. Oh, don't get stopped, please. Uh, yes. <laughs> I always like this pal. Pirate! It docked right up. There's a lot of pirate troubles around here. Oh, what are you? I see. I know this area's gonna be so infested. Oh, Lionel too? Don't mind if I do. Hello. Um, I don't want you destroying my car, so. Here, you go there. There we go. Perfect. Now that one we're being nice to. There's, there's bigger, bigger things we can crucify over here. Figuratively. Hoverstone. We're gonna give this guy a little uh, welcoming gift. I'm um, assuming he's still here. Lionel. Oh, 
Oh, he, he wanders. Okay. You know, that's okay. Because we're just going to give you a... Contra head, yeah. Hmm. And how many beams does it take to finish a Lionel? Oh, as many as you want. <laughs> Are we going for a beam battle? Yes. Because this could be helpful anywhere. There. Just side by side. Make sure they're straight, though. <laughs> Love how they like horse heads. Trust pieces. The beam cycle will be ours, so. Don't worry, Lionels are big. They'll get hit by all of these. Gonna create a little disco light, I think. And, uh. Just top it off with a good. A personal light. It's gotta shine the way. Hmm. Alright, whoever you see fit. You're, you have a good eye. Eyes of yours are tiny, but they're they're efficient. Okay. Well. Does the Lionel really patrol that whole thing? Oh, they're guarding a cave! Okay. Okay, so let's take the bean cycle in. By all means. Me personally. I like this aerial approach. <laughs> the Lionel actually patrols. I don't think there was ever a patrolling Lionel before in Breath of the Wild. There we go. Nice. Uh. There we go. There. <laughs> this one is all yours. Uh, now it is. Get him! <laughs> Stacking the legs. You got this. Oh my god, it's a squad! <gasps> They're taking on a pirate ship, aren't they? Oh my god, this is... Uh, you were supposed to come here! How'd you get up? Woo! Okay, um... Bad plan. Here. I'm gonna send into it. If I can. Please. Thank you. Ow. Uh, teleporting. Get him. There we go. Why is it attacking so low? Okay, we now know that has to be offset by a lot. <laughs> it doesn't play by a good set of rules here. <laughs> what if it's upright? Good question. Guess we won't know. We gotta get this working. No! <laughs> uh, good thing for this. Okay. You know what? No, we're going somewhere. You can't refuse. This first beam cycle. Don't yell the way. Uh, this is kind of a fight. Whoa, no! Too late, you're supposed to shoot him in the head. Uh-oh. Don't yell, don't yell. Okay, we got it, yeah! Uh, now, stuck in the trap, I see it. A little bit of friendly fire. Doing great, Inobo. Good enough for you. Don't, 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 don't. We're good. A little too high for him. Oh. Uh. Got this beam cycle. Inobo. Uh-oh. Back up, back up. <laughs> Reverse. And parallel park this guy in his grave. Ow. My beams are breaking off. Ow. No. 
<laughs> Guys, help me. <gasps> Gorons, please. There's a threat over here. I need your assistance. <sighs> uh, not in the water. Uh-oh. Well, it is in the water now. Uh, guys? <gasps> um, Lionel didn't like that. Lionel was displeased. <laughs> you saw nothing. I will sneak strike you. I wish that was possible. Wait, I pressed A! Okay. He'll take it on trees. I'll take it on him. <laughs> this was certainly a time. Master Sword? There we go. He's only a blue. If you throw a muddle, but he can't use his bow. That's good advice. What if we got the Lionel on the pirate ship? You know, yeah, this was a bad plan, you know. <laughs> the Lionel was moving by the pirate ship. What if we muddle both the, the Lionel, got him on the pirate ship? I think that's a much better idea. Okay. And then I'm not sure if we can throw him in the water afterwards, but our strat goal right now is silly strats. And I much prefer those. Okay. We had a close last time. You wanna chase me? <laughs> it's this whole battleground. I see that. Uh, champions, you go bye bye. We're gonna kite him. He will take down. Oh! <laughs> me. Okay. <laughs> I'll be his little bait trap. There we go. You're gonna try that, huh? Whoop. No, you're not. What's next, huh? Something clever? Just a basic lunge? There we go. <laughs> this whole battleground. It's fine. <laughs> We're close. Stop doing that. Ow. <laughs> well, he stopped kind of early. They're not even phased. Hey. That's not going to do crap. Uh-oh. Okay, it's okay. No! No! <laughs> Crap. Whoa. Get up. Yes! Please, 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 please. The Lionel. I fixed the bridge, uh. Alright, Flaxel. They got Gorons in the squad, too. The whole community coming together. And Gerudo? Yeah, Floxel. Okay, um... Well, for the meantime, we got big problems on our hands. <laughs> He's gonna go for all the friends, isn't he? I think he just killed himself. No way! Lionel? Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna try censoring him. Where did this goofy guy go? They're being very goofy. Um. <laughs> Clearly, I can't see where Lionel's are, my thing, because I passed them eight times. Uh, Lionel's, Lionel's. Nope, I'm blind. There they are. <laughs> Just let me spawn back. 
What? No way. <laughs> it's fine. He's not gone gone. My friends are going to die. No, he just completely bugged back to his spawn. We have to get him across the bridge safely. Ow. Good guard break. This way. There we go. We're close. Go gun. Okay. I see some combat happening. We're fine. <laughs> Blocks is just staying back. Cheerleading the squad. Whoop. Out of stamina. Okay. Lionel, you need a cross. Oh. No! Damn it! Okay, muddle bottom immediately. He's programmed to go away, but we know we can do it. Also, I gotta stop running out of stamina. We're trying to be heroic here. Yeah. If the game doesn't want us to do something, that's more of a reason to do it. It's fine. I have a billion of these. going. <laughs> it was only right near the end, so. Get the tree. Lionel's hate nature. Don't block yourself with that. <laughs> I do need you. Sure. Right. Just over there we go. <laughs> Give him a little more range. Game did say no, but I'm telling it yes. My adventure. Not yours, Lionel. I think you're doing this for you. Hey, hey, hey. Get over here. <laughs> I know my teammates are still just clotting away. Whew. There we go. Now just cross the bridge. You got this. It's okay. Hey! It... Just to stop him a bit. He's got a cross. Two. Can we just keep riding? Okay. Hey. Right there. You have to cross. No, no. Stop. Right here. Stop. Please. I am... Stop! <laughs> what is going on? Lionels are affected by muddle buds. This guy's just really stupid. There we go. Okay. No! Ah, I don't think it's possible. That is such a shame. That is such a shame. Ah, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> he scared me. That is, uh, man. Game, I was trying to do something creative. Lionel's a bit too confused. Well, um, last time I got a Lionel to fight up a cobble and that worked. Um, sadly, I wish that the extended its range a bit because that would have been very funny. Oh well, you know what we're gonna do? What I planned on for a while. Shame. <laughs> that, that was a shame, honestly. Yeah, I'm ready, I guess. 
And sadly, yeah, my thing didn't work either. I don't know why. Hmm. Yeah, even if I build something like that, it's not going to work. It just was not pointing at the right guy. Oh, well. It is a pirate battle after all, so I think we got to dust them. I was so close. <laughs> Attempted with my hope there. Oops. Did not mean to drop two, but we did. Very nice. Go, so we're just gonna put that there. We'll take a little damage. That'll shoot a tad too high. There we go. Um <laughs> None. Perfection. That's not going to work the way I want it to, is it? Nope! <laughs> Why'd I do that? You can't really stack two very well. <laughs> I see if I'm no help. <laughs> okay. Stupid plan. Very stupid indeed. Okay, let's just go like that. One side of cannon. Do something. There we go. Okay. We got to work in a bit. They are perfect, actually. What if we build it upside down? Yeah, just dust them. <laughs> I am okay with this. My men are already dead, so it doesn't matter what happens. <laughs> this is a true pirate battle. <laughs> and I'll do a bit of looting. Or maybe not. Oh, monster in the water. <laughs> Insult to injury. Get a couple more. Let's let's use some big cores. Oh, we're out of big cores. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, one more shot. You did great. <laughs> well, that clears the way a bit. There's lousy pirates, anyways. Ow. Sure. <laughs> this is why I got a fire sword. Not the final one, because he's going to attack. Press a little heat. <laughs> sure thing. Okay, I'm sure these guys walk the plank. Alright, guys. I'm making you walk the plank. Or at best, my own plank. Hmm. What sort of silly can we do? We do, we do have catapults. That, that is true. It's going to be one hell of a plank. Just warning you all. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, you can go. Bye-bye. Nope. Oh, wait, nope. That's fire. Uh, splash. We're saved. Oh, no. It spread. No, put it out. No, okay. <gasps> Look, I just need one nice volunteer from the audience. Good him. Ow. They're not being good volunteers. Uh, no, my friends would not be good assistants. There we go. Get on. 
No, thank you. Oop, that almost messed things up. Okay. I just need you to go in there. Okay. Stop right there. No. You're doing very good. I'm exaggerating. You're not. But I commend your efforts. Oh. <laughs> yep. We got 30 seconds of uh, prep for the show time. Yeah, good moblin, okay? Good one. Oh, wish I could stasis them in place a little bit. Self stasis, there we go. Can you handle that? I'm sure you can. Bye bye! He's dead? <laughs> I don't know where. I don't have a visual. Uh, but he definitely died. Okay, this moblin's next. <laughs> Let's try to visualize it this time. Get him. Okay. You got that guy. And this guy. <laughs> Chase him into a King Gliak. Oh no. Seeing Gliak would fight stuff would be kind of funny. If possible. Okay. I have to get stick somewhat close to it. Bye! Um, I feel like it's so high up. Hmm. Is is it somewhere? I, I can't even get a visual on it. That's the thing. I just have to trust the health bar. Somewhere. Oh, what the? How'd you get over there? <laughs> He's gonna walk the plank to try to get back. Your pride will be your downfall. Oh, he's trying. Oh my, my cannon mechanism's in the way. Sorry, man. Um, here. You may not want to. The first little silver guy died, though. We should just have like a fishing rod to kind of hook him in. It's okay. Hmm. So we do know ice pushes do work. Um, that could work. No. Okay, we have to be careful with what we're hitting them with. There. Let's put him on the bridge. Our goal is, eh, you know, okay, 30, 29, 28. I'm not even going to count because why? <laughs> that does work. Of course, the easy way is just setting me in the water. Oh, don't, don't push off. Bye-bye. The first one did beautifully. <laughs> and now I'm sure my thing is gone. I think it catapulted itself. <laughs> it most definitely did. Okay, well we need a, a plan B uh, for the next squad, for sure. Yeah, harpoon gun would be awesome here. Um, Sadly, no such thing is applicable. <laughs> Beam spinner, just kind of watch it do its thing. Yeah, we'll do whatever else. I saw this cannon. Let it loose. <laughs> so we got one, and that's a win in itself. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah? In a good enough sense of the word. Bye. Oh my god. He's in peril. <laughs> you keep going, Cannon. Eventually, Goron. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, great thing about tears is if your inventions work a third of the time, 
it's pretty satisfying. Okay. Has to be rewarded. Thank you. Yes. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it does recognize me even with this goofy hat. Flaxel. Well, I think Flaxel is one of the people, the wandering travelers from uh, um, a Breath of the Wild. They got stuck in the Gerudo Canyon. You had to save them and stuff. Um, because like their whole expedition was named after like different like oils, like like canola, flaxel. Uh, I I forgot exactly. It was like some weird name pun though. So they were all named after some like oil or seed, like flax seed. Yeah. Oh wait, it's stronger. The plan is to head northwest to the south to the Bantha Snow. Oh, going there. I thought it was gonna be more pirate stuff, honestly. Because one squad was like center Hyrule stuff, another one more Akala. Well, Akala Elden. So it's like two different areas. I mean, if we're really gonna commit, uh. You have to go a lot too. Okay, we'll do this first. Uh, I guess Lionel's and dead. We'll just melt him really fast. That's fine. My my ship's going off. That's it. Okay. Getting serious with the Lionel killing? Yeah. Because this time we can go. Oh, we can go anyway, but I go Pikmin Sword. I didn't fully loot it either, I just realized. I think I might be missing out. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of it got launched away. But it's always like a hidden chest, you know? Maybe. It's cool how there's a cove, though. I like this area. I don't think I've ever found anything on the, those before. But I do like the pirate stuff in this game. Uh, I don't know, just ships stocking up to all these bays. It's cool, even if it's like just the same enemy types. It's a fun battleground to fight on. I like how they have the base on Evan's hide. That was very cool. Well, that was a time, <laughs> certainly. I saw a Korok though, so we'll get them and then check out that Lionel cave. It's like muddy water lily pads. Not really lily pads, <laughs> just algae. Hi, Dory's. <laughs> we have a bunch of those porgies. Hmm. Ah, mission first. Guess I could catapult myself if I found that mechanism. But that is long gone. I have no idea. Head cannon just all burnt up in an instant. <laughs> it was exhausted, you know? What do we do? Maybe the shield and uh We <laughs> Why did I bother with that? I'm not even sure too much of the efficiency for that. There's probably some weird way you can zoom. Especially in like low gravity sections. There's a lot to exploit. <laughs> Go and... It's not like we have a power weapon either. I just kind of use whatever. We lose our power weapon now. There we go. These methods are fun, but that's efficient. There we go. Pick the sword. Yeah, like he still makes the normal Link noises. You know, he looks like a cheapy Link. <gasps> Wait, that's the Lionel shield I need. 
I just realized I don't have this for the compendium yet. One of the few weapons. There we go. Gladly take it. Get the head the box. Perfect. Yeah, we can melt. Uh oh. No. Nice. That was all or nothing. And yeah, might as well. Bye bye. There was that cave, so I gotta check it out. The parts. Um. Okay, so I must not have seen that shield before. Assumedly. My giant head. The chains are having a party. It's fine. Awesome. Compendium? Okay, just 10 more. We finally got that shield. I need like a rusty Rito one. The hero shield and then just all pristine. And it's all full besides monsters. We need a metro of that. Too. Okay. Um, sorry. Wait. Rusty? What are you doing in there? Okay, these are so cool. Because yeah, in Breath of the Wild, I'm, I'm pretty sure all the mighty stuff could tear out, outright. Also, what? What? It certainly looked like a cave. To the sun target. I think it might have been like a little campfire in Breath of the Wild or something. Oh well. Well, that was, that was something. Okay. Let's go. Let's see, we're going to that next one. There's more stuff we could do here. We're really floating around. Is that really it then? It's just side adventures and we got all of them? Wow, okay. Um. Yeah, I saw this area. We could, could go with a fitting thing. We have bow slots. I could get the Great Eagle though, because that's for a side quest too. I still have to get that and the Zora weapon. We might as well do it. Do that. Hit up that. Okay. Good game plan. <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I don't know, I just really want to do some of these quests. I didn't realize it was going to be the last uh, adventures for this, so, so that's kind of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> um, compendium, it's probably not a big reward, but... I'd love to get all those soon, because I want to see what that is. It will have to be a lot of depth stuff to finish it, though. Okay, in order to get the bow, I need a swallow bow. I know there's one at the flight range, but there might be a closer one. Because the swallow bow at the flight range uh, does respawn. Let's go to the bottom where bows are. It might be my best bet. That's okay. We could also look for uh, a feathered edge. As soon as I find a decayed, I can do that for the compendium slot. And did I find all the wells? I did not. Uh, I still have to turn in some. I'm sure I'm getting very close, though. I'm sure when I check out more ruins. Yeah. Swallow bow, but it's so pointy. Yeah, why do they call it that? <laughs> Misleading for food. Come on. Hmm. Okay, I'll go out of silly mode for a moment. Rito mode is good. <laughs> he pops up. Ooh, fire and snow. Okay, I'll take those. Off limits. Oh, <laughs> really off limits. They're burning up. And so are you, almost. No. Also, I heard about something if you want to disarm enemies. The mushroom shield. Since mushrooms are pointy, or boingy, not pointy. You should be able to disarm things. Let's try it. Not that one. Attack. 
It does work. Instant disarm. Don't even need good parry power. Okay, that's actually really cool. There we go. I need to make more mushroom shields then. There's so many different types too. You have all the variety. You can have a couple more. Oh, go for Tula, not me. Loot your friend. Follow the weapon away. Tula, you can finish your job. Okay. I'll be waiting patiently for this. Tulin. Fine. Oh, oh, Baltied. <laughs> this is not good. He's cheating. Claw. Wait, I wonder if... What if we'll just hit? Oh, now I won't. Okay, have it your way. Hey, Tina, thank you so much for the 20. Streams are very cozy, despite Link always being on a murder spree. <laughs> it's the best way. Streams are great. Thank you so much. I'm happy you enjoy. We're just kind of going off on some shenanigans. And uh, you can really get that with building and fusing and doing everything now. So, thank you. I'm happy you enjoy them. <laughs> you got some shield fashion going. You certainly do. Also, this is a Rito weapon. I'm going to laugh. I'm not laughing. Um, I was really hoping for that. I'll take that, though. They're actually decent, considering we're uh, kind of low on the good stuff. When we do more depth stuff, which is probably going to be soon, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stock back up. It'll spend a little bit for us. Nope. <laughs> Not a good surfer. The 64 card. Oh, the silver boko. Yeah, I always call them Pikmin weapons. So, we usually always have a Pikmin weapon. Not this time, though. Um, I've been literally calling them that ever since I first saw it. It's, yeah. Like, instant thought. Just like, they made him look like a Pikmin. Love the Pikmins. <laughs> Alright, Sandseal plushies. They would be bouncy things, so yeah. That would be cool to try out. Nope. Hey, Moose. I guess you live. Oh, wait, you don't. Me, 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 too. I went a little far. Sometimes there's just a chest in those, but I guess not here. Yep, I said flight range, and I guess I lied heavily. One second. I'm also looking for that uh, feathered edge, so... Maybe instead, let's search for that, and we know where the other one is. Oh yeah, it's not like I can search for if I don't have a compendium thing. Right. We planned that well. Okay. So a new plan, just drop in from the flight range, or tower. It is a flight range. Just a different type. One where we get launched to fly. Someone on Reddit suggested that the design wasn't made it into four horns. Because it looked like the one hit obliterator. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, but Coblin Horn, you have... It adds a prong. But the four prong will look like the one hit obliterator. That's... That's fair. I like when they change it up, too. Like, they all have a different flair. It's not, like, just all different types of the same. Yeah, I like our Pikmin weapons. I like the Lizzle Reapers and stuff, and they add just a lot of different types, and it's cool, because it makes weapons feel different, too, with a different look. I don't think I need to skydive for this. I'll just... Oh, close. <laughs> And I'm a swallow bow. Um, this can be done. Yeah, and that'll be another quest done too. Um, side quest for at 116 out of 139.
just working our way down. Yay. Yes, okay. We're all good. We definitely have the flint. You learned today that dragon parts increase the despawn distance of auto build? Wait, really? Does it change with like the different type of parts, like horns or more? That's really interesting. I never really knew the despawn ranges, but if so, that'll make so many of my mechanisms better because trying to get more of the range. Also, hey, Lubric, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the salad. That is awesome. <laughs> mm. And yeah, for the Hinoxes, um, yeah, a lot of the bosses are mirrored from the surface to the depths, from what I know. I know a lot of the locations change from Breath of the Wild, but there is a lot of mirroring with the mini bosses and also exact mirroring with the shrines. Whoosh. Okay. We don't travel. Yeah, I don't got normal flight, but we got swim flight. I like swim flight. All parts work the same? Okay, so just having a dragon part makes it. That's cool. And yeah, the fireworks of the dragon parts, I knew about that, because that was in Breath of the Wild. No. Great eagle bow. Make me a bow. Old Tulin. <laughs> Diamonds don't come cheap. A bow worthy of the Rito. Even the Rito's finest craftsman hearth vouches for my work. <laughs> That's cool. He's the elder. I'm sorry he didn't get a bigger spotlight in this game. Hmm. You are. Great eagle bow. I want to see how it is in this game. It's probably very similar. Yeah. 28 times 3. Sometimes it changes stats. Um, the Revali could lose arrows with the speed of a gale, making him supreme in arrow combat. Okay. Well, we have that. That is such a cool looking bow. Very fast draw speed. I think this is the fastest draw speed bow in the game. And also has good range. Yep. I was really waiting for that one. These weapons feel even cooler now to use. Especially the bow, because it won't have anything weird fused to it. Just, it's just a very good weapon. Like the other champion weapons, they look cool, but then you have to fuse something to it, so it kind of ruins the appeal a bit. Just a tad, though. Also, you know what else I could do? I could, uh... I could get our other weapon. We can get the Zora one right away, because... It's not like we have good weapons, so I could probably use those. Yeah, three diamonds, five flint, and a Zora Spear. We do have a Zora Spear. Uh, this is actually pretty damaged. Oh, wait, no, it's no, it's not. It has. I forgot we just repaired it. Never mind. Um, I'm a liar. We need a new Zora Spear. Okay. Where should we go for that? I want to go for this first. We're still staying in the snow area. Um, I take on the final control squad, and I'll be our second to last side adventure. Okay. Do you know if the stables on the surface align with Lionel's in the? No. Really? Horses, Lionel. Wait. Wait a second. There was a Lionel under here. This is the first Lionel I found. Oh my. No way. Okay, I pinned that one. These are just bosses in general, but I remember that one's a Lionel. I haven't really been over there. Uh, well, th I I'm sure that sums it up. Yeah, a lot of depths I haven't been in yet. Um, stable, stable. I Yeah. <laughs> I mean, definitely taking your word for it. Just, of course, I wasn't under a lot. Um, 
Wait, no, over here, wasn't I? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the Lionel pin. Okay. That is so cool. I may not have seen that one. All except to bounce the bridge stable. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And did I take the time to build a house? I did actually. Uh, I first built it in my Terrytown stream, which all the streams are in the playlist link below. Our playlist for this playthrough. So I built it there. And we visited quite a few times since. Uh, I'll go back if we need to. There we go. Um, there you guys. So I'm gonna build a mechanism here. I just want to see my zone account. Uh, not a lot. So if I want to build something actually kind of good, I will have to go. Hmm. It's like I want to build a Lionel Destroyer, like a good one this time. What if you have these just to like extend the range a bit, you know? I know if they're fused with something, the act is more of a. Well, I think they're, when they're fused with more things, they just act as an extender. There we go. This could be good. Yeah, and what if I built a bunch around a cooking pot or something? No. I lied. Goofy. We need Goofy. It's okay. Get this working. We just have a bunch of these, so it's like might as well. This could be interesting. Put that inside. It does snap very well. Kind of. The weight is a problem. Okay. Stabilizer? Can't forget about these. Maybe not. <laughs> Broken too, so I'm like, oh, I shouldn't use that. <laughs> if you want to turn into a cooking pot, by all means. Let's do this, maybe. We're building our funnies, so. Don't worry, this is foolproof. Maybe just the cooking pot's a bad idea. I'm trying to build a type of mechanism where I can just laser something. The wheel is not turning though. Oh, maybe it only turns when there's an enemy. Okay. Because I think we can do some magic right now. Which is what I'm going for. Lots of magic. I'm just getting those spinnies in. Just a few on the outside. <laughs> Let them cook, I guess. If the beam thing's there... Oh yeah, we can turn them inside. Yeah, so it's more centered, you know. Center, but it has to be straight. Okay. I want to get it to, like, spin, you know? Kind of funny. We'll just try a couple and see how it works. Like, four. I do have a method to this madness. I always try to. Building this one sloppy, but... There we go, that's what I meant to do. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah. Getting all the angles is kinda odd, but I'm trying my best. 
I don't know. What is me doing? I will find an enemy to test. There's usually a lot around. I mean, obviously a big thing over there, but... I'm sure Lizalfos will come popping out. If beam minors are spinning, they do more damage? Oh, probably because of the multi-hit. I don't think a bear counts as a... It might. Uh-oh. Um, nope. Okay. So a bear does count. Um... I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> okay. But I'm just very confused. I'm gonna figure out how to actually do this the best. <laughs> This ain't gonna work. <laughs> Oscillating content gets better DPS than consistent. Okay. Uh oh. Wait, do we have unfreezable? We do. Okay. <laughs> Got it for one minute. What if I created? I don't know. It's kind of like Gatling Gun of sorts. Also, I put the stabilizer backwards. Oh. Well. Oh, there we go. You know what? These are enemies. I could... Do your thing. What the hell? I couldn't handle it. Okay, get back here. Wrong way. Okay. Or do that, you know. Wait, I can build a car just with the laser wheels. What about a shrine stealing the motor and fan? That that one isn't very good. Um, the other fans are a lot better from what I've noticed. Yeah, there's like those weird fans. You don't really push stuff well. It's okay, I'll learn how to make the funnies. Oh yeah, that, that is not the wrong way. <laughs> Getting that visual on him. I see ya. He's like, trying to snipe him with the nothing he has. Explosives are good with that. Don't shoot me. Thank you. You just go right there. There we go. Spawn once more. <laughs> it's hard to get it lined the way you want it to. And you just die due to Tulin, I think. It's fine. You guys are very bad at their jobs. It's almost funny. Right, also, I'm getting asked a lot of questions in chat that uh, we have answered in the description. I always update what we're doing in the playthrough before we stream. Uh, just to fill them with context, so. There we go. You melt there. Yeah, you know, this is... Now this is working. Wait. Thank you for the five seconds you did, but... What if I just... You know, what if I just recall you back in place? Oh, nice. Beam as you need be. As need beam. There we go. Get those beams. Beam back them. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. Okay. 
can't feel like I can do something. Okay. The path is clear. Oh, okay. Thank you, Tulin. Mushrooms! Yay! Now where's my wheel? No, my wheel! <laughs> it's it's leaving. <laughs> We are good to go. Fully in motion. There we go. Do your thing. Oh, they're spinning. <laughs> okay. They're certainly doing its thing. It's a little low. But when it just oscillates, yeah, it's... <laughs> in the whole array. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh. Wish I could just put it on my shield or something, you know? Okay. <laughs> Distractions, you're needed. Head is tipping too far down. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, it's okay. We, we have a backup. I lied. Um. What am I trying to do? Cart. You know, if you have a bunch right there, and then we we'll go with the stabilizer, theoretically. We need that charge back. The hover stone just flopping. Oh, me flopping too. You know, they're doing just fine. This is just more for, uh, you know, the cloth is trying. Okay. Stable. Perfect. <laughs> Melt them down. Yeah! They're spinning all right. Oh, this is much better. Okay. Oh, I dig that a lot. Holy crap! It's destroying them! Yeah! <laughs> we did actually a good thing! Nice. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> we needed some win in there. Give me money. Is that the last one? Well, I would think so. Word from the headquarters, uh, not the only one you helped out. <gasps> oh, that's cool. For doing uh, all six of them. Okay. Oh. That blood moon, yep. So they're gonna keep going back, so keep alternating between the two we did. Same with the other two squads. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Goron, too. Yeah, this was the best one because it was Gorons. Yay. Yeah. I think only had four beams on it. Uh, it was fun. I'm at this is a stage where I want to play around with this stuff because I did, but there's always so much potential. Even if half the loot burns up. If you like that. I'm not mad. <laughs> Ooh, wait. We could do stuff with the cages. <laughs> and that was almost me. Okay. Um. Could we use a cage? Oh. Oh, because it's fused. Never mind. Yeah. Cage bat. Oh, it's not a hammer. Crap. You want two in a row? Cage. <laughs> there we go. Keep an enemy in there. That would be cool if we could. I, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah. Dodging by the clipping? I don't think so. Yeah, take all the good stuff I actually need. Toss what I don't. <laughs> See, I just like having my minions fight for me. And I guess we'll pick Minsoret. Right? 
me trying to think of what to all have. Or, you know, I might make an ice hammer because we can crank out a lot more damage that way. Even just that 16 fuse. But those triple hits will be super nice. Perfection. Where was the food in prison? That's a good question. They just caged the food supply. No one can have it. Just got to keep it visible but untouched. It's important to them, you know? Ceremonial. Oh, see, I think that screws up the... Alright, two ended weapons are just good in general, so... Slice through like butter. Here, take one of these gnarled hammer sticks. For now, I guess. It's a long throw too, I like that. Alright, see ya, Orca. Thanks for coming. We tried our best. <laughs> I really wish the Lionel thing worked earlier, where we kited a Lionel to an enemy camp. Maybe somewhere it will. We kited in a Lionel and a Bacoblin to fight uh, each other, which is pretty nearby in Hebra, but... So far, that's the closest thing we got. Let's do that, and let's do... I'm trying to... Sorry. Okay. You know what I thought about? Um, so... So... Oh, people are telling me to fuse my almost broken Simtar of the Seven to a shield and then have Rock Octorok eat it. Uh, and if I unfuse it at Terrytown, I should be able to get the weapon back. I haven't tried it, so I'm going to see if it works. Um, that's just what I was told. And... I guess we'll go for it, so. But yeah, we'll, we'll work it out. <laughs> but yeah, Lionels are not immune to muddle butts. It, they do work, so it's kind of funny. Yeah, we did most of the shrines too and everything. Just kind of savoring the last few we got. Light Roots, we're working on that. It's still gonna take some time. Oh yeah, also the house. I guess I can show it out. I am proud of this, this thing. Yeah, got a nice modern house. The nice walkway. And the chicken picture. Take our carp. Very cool. <laughs> it's cozy. We'll do some more cooking there later. Or, eh, just one for the road. I like my modern house open, clean. Forgot we got all this loose stuff. I gotta trim away a bit. There we go. I'm using the Dragon Lionel to a Gliok. Guess we'll see at the Gliok's. <laughs> yeah, it seems like dragging enemies doesn't work super well. Sadly. <laughs> Do I like anime? I like some. I'm a huge Jojo fan. I love Attack on Titan. Uh, recently started watching One Piece and it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, probably more in the future. There's just a lot of anime I'm not too fond of. But the stuff I like, I like. So, yeah. It was like the last two years, I would say. Before that, I watched like nothing. So, Also, not fully anime, but I love Ghibli movies. So, like Howl's Moving Castle has my heart. So it's it's so good. And yeah, Lionel's, yeah. Not immune to muddle bloods, just typically they're by themselves. But yeah, a few streams ago we did get a Lionel to fight up a coblin because the Boko was nearby frozen and ice. So that's how we were able to do that. So currently I really want to get a star fragment, so I'm gonna really keep my eyes peeled. That is very important to me right now. And... Oh yeah, there's that shrine quest we never did. <laughs> Maybe that would be cool to finally do. Hmm. 
Okay, let's do a quick save, unless it just saved. It did. Okay. So let's see if the shield thing works. What? 20 rupees, break it down. Um. Okay, don't put it back together. We can easily do that. Zip zap. Dum ba dum zap. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh my, it repairs it. It had one hit left in it. So you can literally infinitely repair something. Well, that's cool. <laughs> uh, that's very cool. I'm sure the best fusion combo is still this Lionel horn. A little broken, but <laughs> yeah, I I'm, I'm a fan of that. <laughs> Sorry, steel ball, hammer. Mm. Yeah, we have kind of some junkies, honestly. Yeah, so if something's about to break, fuse it to a shield, and then uh, yeah, you can disassemble it. So, yeah, so thank you to everyone who told me about that. <laughs> I did not know. So yeah, don't need to waste four diamonds, I don't think. Which I'm sure you can do that with everything. We we broke our uh, boulder breaker, so we'll have to do that again for that. So you can always have the champion weapons without gooning away all of our diamonds. Okay, let me... Uh... Okay, sorry. Uh... So apparently attaching a dragon part makes the range last better. That's what I was told earlier, so we're gonna try that. Also, it's really cool that we're able to, you know, talk about stuff like this now, because I fills in a lot of the gaps. I can do a lot of cool stuff. So I appreciate it and thank you. Uh, I know we're I chat out for most of the playthrough for spoilers, but now that most things are done, and obviously for the future now. I'm sure just gonna be ideas after ideas for years to come. I think after this, the depths will be very nice. Um, if we're going over there. So I just have to see if the dragon thing works. So, basically, what I mean is that if I stand on the end here and try to shoot to launch myself and something else, I can't. Because the range ain't that good. Let's first adjust it, so. Yeah. So if we just put a dragon part and it extends the range. So we're going to try it. Um, Something cheap. Nature scale is the only one I feel comfortable doing with, because... I don't actually need this one anymore. I guess we'll try. Um, where do you have to put it exactly? <laughs> I forgot who said it. Scale just changes the despawn range. Oh, so it's not like activation. Gotcha. Oh, okay. So it wasn't like an intended thing. because scales naturally have a long range. That makes sense. Okay. Well, still neat. Because I can still go like that. And it can still go like that. Wait. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That was good. Sure, there's better ways. I just kind of... I did it my way. Oh, it's still... Uh, it's kind of in grab distance. 
Okay, so the scale parts of despawning range. Thank you. Uh, I thought it was actually for activating, but it's still good to know. Um, The milk fabric is an amiibo. It's Ocarina of Time amiibo. So, Ocarina of Time. I don't have it with me because I put it away since we got it already. I have a big amiibo display thing. All the Zelda ones like on a shelf. Other side of my room. Which we used it for our amiibo runs. That was fun. Are we just gonna like <laughs> kite away all of our Zonite for this? We are. In depth mode later. Sure, let's do that. You know, we got a lot of shrines. Okay. So we have a lot of the shrines, which is nice. I didn't actually know the actual. Okay, 152, that's fine. I didn't want to know until it was like much later, and that's a much later now, so that's okay. But yeah, so we did a lot, because I think the only thing I used the guide for in this entire game was. Last stream, just trying to find the cave where the ember uh, short was. Because I really couldn't. Uh, yeah. Literally everything else, not a guide. So, And we have almost half the Koroks. Like almost 500. <laughs> Thought this forbidden candy would despawn before you got to it. <laughs> you just called forbidden candy the green thing? <laughs> I love that. It does look appetizing. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, I might do some more amiibos afterwards. Hmm. And how do the fabrics from amiibo drops work? I I know they're random. There's got to be loot tables, just like for Breath of the Wild. I just don't have access to those data mines yet. Ooh, diamond. Cool. <laughs> we have eight of them. We can make a lot more weapons. Yeah, just make sure not to shatter them and we'll be good. Let's figure out the first row of hearts. You can figure out how many shrines there are. I mean, not really, because like in Breath of the Wild, you still had a couple empty hearts, you know? So I don't know how it works in this game. Yeah, I don't know if there's max hearts in this game. If, if it's three off, like Breath of the Wild. A Breath of the Wild DLC is two off. So assuming you have max stamina. So yeah, I don't fully know. 129. Oh, so we really did a lot of this, right? I was wondering, I was like, there's probably 160. So 152 is close. Very close indeed. Mighties, I think I need you. Yeah. Scaring them actually first, so we can throw this safely. That would have hit us. An interesting work. It looks like one of those grandma strawberry hard candies. We love our fun rocks. Okay, I love those though. Like those old fashioned hard candies. Yeah, I'm a bit of an old head when it comes to candy. Like I like like black licorice and stuff. Don't hate me, I do. Um, yeah, well. Wait, we didn't check out these falls yet. Can't wait for the troll blessing. I think we saw that one. It was in a. It was next to one of the labyrinths, I believe, the desert one. It was like a blessing, but then it flips you. Yes, we did see that. <gasps> oh, oh, my, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, uh, 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 camera. It's him! It's him! You're hiding this entire time! Metro! Metro, that's it! The final monster! We have not seen a Metro this entire time. And that's so perfect, too. We have, you know, just normal poses. Wait. Actually, I know what to do. One, we gotta get the right pose. There's a reason why I'm doing this one. Okay. I loosely plan on it, but... Uh, so you just have, like, normal walking poses for fire, ice, and electric. But for this one, he starts low, middle, high. Like, he's doing a jump. Like, huh? Whoa, wow! <laughs> I don't know why I planned it like that. I, I I mean, I did it with the first two. I'm like, okay, when we get fire, we have to hit him low. So it looks like he's jumping. I don't know. It's such a... My mind works weird. Uh, but we got all monsters, finally. 
we got all creatures. And mind you, we didn't buy a single one. Um, we got all materials. 10 equipment slots. We are missing uh, Decayed Feathered Edge, uh, the Hero Shield, wherever that is. Uh, I don't know if it's quest related or depths. Don't tell me. I'm still going in blind. Uh, and then eight of the weapons, uh, pristines. Which, yeah, that would be Gerudo Depths. Um, this will be. Hmm, we could look for Royal Guard stuff. Okay. We deserve to die. Partially correct. Yeah, one in the Sky Library. I do remember that. Okay. That was silly. I guess I will take that weapon because it's a probably better. Wait. Never mind. I just dropped a good weapon. Don't tell me it ran off. Weapon. Oh. I guess that's how you lose a rod. <laughs> Not that I really ever use them, but... Yeah, did I get the training contract? Yep, all maxed out. <laughs> there was one more shrine. It was like a stealth strike one, actually. It was in Akala. We were just there last. We can never fully escape this region. Just keep going back to it. Oh. I thought it rolled off, but... I guess I was wrong, right? Oh, wait, no, that was mine. We're gonna ignore that whole thing just happened. All right. Final area and a call of the checkout. Man, that's almost over, but there's still a lot in the depth, so... I, I got some, some stuff to go. I tried using recall. No. I'm gonna do that quark puzzle first. I always like these waterfalls. It's a cool way to get to El Lanero too. The Lionel. We will refight him. Where's that quark? There it is. I was trying to get a tree for it, but oh, that's what the parts are for. Okay. So of course you can rock at like any, every single one of those, I believe. However, yeah. Yeah, we just need a good pull. And this river has good pull. Something. Yeah, there we go. Is that a good idea? We'll we'll find out. We shall indeed. Wait. Of course the easiest solution is just rocketing it. I just like doing it the intended way. Okay, fine. Also, my best amiibo sword, uh, they're all broken. I I used them all. We could probably get more in the depth, though. So, so. My favorite was, I, I don't know, the white sword of the sky is super cool. Or the goddess sword from Breath of the Wild. There we go. No, it didn't like that. Okay. Wait. What does it need? Big wheel. Maybe there's like a specific way we're supposed to physics this that I'm not. Am I supposed to make it wider? <laughs> I sure just rocketed. Uh, now you're a zone mechanism. Do zone stuff. Zone it out. <laughs> Please. Oh. 
The, with the intended ways. Buoyancy? Wait a second. Really? I never thought. It's like that one shrine then. Oh! Oh! Okay, there was a shrine like that where there was like a ball you had to put underground and then the force up. But I didn't know that would have the same buoyancy. That's so cool! Okay, I thought they were by river because he had his Drake stuff, which we did before. I think we just built that one odd. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, buoyancy. I'm like, as soon as I heard you say buoyancy, I'm like, oh wait, buoyancy. I didn't realize it would have that much buoyancy, honestly. But I guess making sense how it floats easily. Well, that's cool. Yeah, in other cases where there's not as much water, uh, I know, well, even just like the weight. So like we know the weight ones like on top of mountains. So I like how there's different ways. Other than Lionel. Yeah, we're gonna destroy you with this weapon. I'm sorry. An attack up? We have, uh, should we go for melt strats? Yeah, I'm not feeling kind today. This is one way to do it. <laughs> it's not even fair. Music's barely gonna start. Oh, you can go for me. Pink. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> It's not fair at all. We still need to make a power weapon with our Royal Guard weapon. <laughs> Fairy! Eh. Sorry. Where did you come from? I only have one left, so. Just the white main stuff. Nothing. Nothing crazy. Finals became very easy though now. Use another. I don't, I'm not a huge wooden shield person. Actually, I'm not a huge Lionel shield person. Wooden shield we can make a little funny, silly. Okay, cool stuff. <laughs> so those don't quite mirror. There are these islands. I, You know what, I always want to check them out. I think that's a good idea, yeah. Lionel getting shredded by just basic strats, I know. Whatever it takes, which isn't a lot. <laughs> See, I like never use a sky bike unless I have to. Which is fun. Next we'll do the Zora weapon. <laughs> Get crazy OP stuff because we can. Lionel doesn't know about Link's fusing hand. <laughs> it is too great. Oh yeah, it's like one of the few locations in the game you can find a, a Captain Construct 3. Because they're rare for no reason. Okay guys, I can handle this. Uh oh. Ow. It's constant. Oh, it's very beamy. Oh. <laughs> Don't beam shield me. Thank you for not doing it. Oh. <laughs> nice. This will be a fast melt. A little too fast, I think. Ow. <laughs> fast swing for such a awkward weapon. I want to get beam sorted too. You want to be annoying like that? Um, you're fine. Yeah, you want a little beam shield? <laughs> Such a dumb weapon. Okay, well, we're gonna chill. Uh, so, uh, there's this place in Hyrule. Um, it's called the Tingle Islands. It's behind you, a really cool vacation destination. And you're gonna miss out on all of it. We're gonna have a great time there and uh, you're just gonna suffer in your agony. Okay, let's do it. We just plan out our whole vacation and uh, told to the guy that we just killed. How oh, great. So let's uh, plan the perfect vacation. Go here, because we are here on Davy Island for a little bit and then 
left because we found that shrine there. So let's go back. Fun fact, you can see when a parry, flurry, when Construct's eyes glow. Oh, really? I usually just try to learn the raw timing, but that's that's a very good trick. I should I should try that. Thank you. Oh, yay. You have under three fairies. You can find them in the grass. I don't know how exactly the odds work, but they do. We love Royal Guard weapons, too. We'll need more of those, I think. Yeah, I love the sword fusion. Well, the challenge runs, thank you. Uh, yes, there's definitely going to be tiers ones. Um, it's actually going to be pretty soon. I'm not officially announcing the dates, but it will be coming up pretty shortly. Uh, I just want to do a few more streams of this, and then we'll do this. And we'll still continue this playthrough, obviously. Because um, the first challenge run we'll do over like a weekend span on Twitch. Um, which, yeah, I just didn't want to rush into it. Because, you know, there's a... Well... No time, no reason to rush. We have many years of this being the new Zelda game. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I actually have good ideas for my first two, but I still have to kind of work them out. In case you know, I discover anything recently that can help with them. Because I feel like challenge running isn't fun if you're just going straight from the game to challenge running right away. Like you really have to enjoy a first play through first. So. <laughs> More goo, more wood. Uh, I liking the bugs from those ever means. Love Royal Guard bows. Still enough damage. Yeah, but the arrow speed is literally insane with these bows. They put a shrine on this thing. I thought that was super surprising. I went to it immediately and then I don't know like three weeks ago It's hard to gauge. This is like the 40th something stream like we did a lot of these and it's been just a blast um, Yeah, we'll definitely do more playthroughs uh, In the future like obviously challenge stuff a lot But in terms of like raw playthroughs like once or twice a week on YouTube like every week so We'll do stuff like that and challenge runs, you usually record at a weekend span at a time. We'll go like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Maybe sometimes adding the Friday. Oh, we made it. Okay, so I'm sure that's just going to be a depth pit, and it's probably where the shrine was in Breath of the Wild. Because, yeah, I'm excited for this. I've been very excited to do more. Well, yeah, a bit sad that, uh, a lot less content here, because... I guess we'll see what the, how the enemies will be in the other islands, but... Yeah, like, none of the mining deposits are really here or anything. Oh, <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Yeah. It can't be good for the durability. See, we, we appreciate silly strats. That's a cool one. We still have to get the restored Chica weapons. I'd love to. We just haven't been going to the right depths regions for those. But we did make a video on uh, where to find all the depth stuff and like how the depths weapons work. Um, and we haven't been to every area personally. Um, but we'll figure that out. And yeah, I do want to do more Stats of the Wild. I'm just, I mean, between this playthrough, doing Stats of the Wild and Challenge Runs, it's a lot. So I'll, you know, pace it out as I go. Fourth Stats of the Wild is probably going to be on stat buffs again. Because we did a Breath of the Wild version, but with all the new buffs, uh, well, I think we almost have them all now. So I can start making that video once we do. So that's kind of where the priority's been. Um, well, yeah, with a lot of the tiers info, I know uh, Echo Collat has been doing so much research, and that's what we've been highlighting. Um, so really awesome stuff, but in terms of, like, self-research topics, those will come eventually. Because, yeah, the data mines for this game came out right away, so 
That's why there's so much stats you can find online. For like, you know, all the different buffs and systems and how like the XP system works and how, uh, you know, the scaling, well, scaling XP, depth weapons. Yeah, but I have some resources down in the description too. Um, well, I just put the stats of the kingdom playlist in there and then some of the things like the food cooking stuff. A lot like the cooking system carried over besides the new stuff. So that's nice. Man, these islands are like super bare now. I loved them in Breath of the Wild, but in some places they really want you to just skim past. Try to activate a Yiga banana trap with the Yiga armor. Yeah, they'll yell at you. Mm -hmm. I got that in accident actually before. It's, it's quite funny. Because you're like, hey, don't ruin the trap. <laughs> So that is a good one. No, it's still a little too far. Oh, we got him! <laughs> okay, so it seems like they kept the uh, Octorok Island. That just sucks that like everything else is bare. Well, I guess they have added Diva spawns, so... Kill those trees, why not? Yeah, cut the trees. <laughs> Yiga weapon versus Yiga. Oh, ow. Truly. A battle of both. Ow. Take a slow Jojo walk over. Oh. Prepare to get winded. Ow. <laughs> well, the trees, I guess. Tulin's gonna get him before me. Well, Tulin always does best. Nope. Thank you. <laughs> At like the same time. I can't take credit for that one. Okay, I can just do that. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> My stuff. <laughs> I passed off the lightning. Let me fight a lot of those guys, yeah. My blade's already damaged. This is not. Yeah, I don't learn. Also, this bow looks really cool with my outfit. Just all that color contrast in there. there you go. Oh, it's got my bow. Bow, bow please. <laughs> Sword. Oh, lucky. And there's the gloom plant. Okay. I kind of figured this is all just for a gloom thing underneath. And so I have become a Yiga Blade Master in this game. It didn't unlock anything cool. It just gave me a, a wing cleaver that I broke. Or eight full blade. You know, one of my favorite locations in the Breath of the Wild, it's like stripped of all of its content. Besides two Korok seeds. I'm sure they're very worth it. Too. My trees. Let's hope we didn't need that for the puzzle. No, but just up this tree. Which means we should froggy it, because froggies are sticky. And I need the stick. Yeah, King Frog. So I can't wait to get three more star fragments because I really want to upgrade our awakening set. Also, I just love the late game. We have all this good stuff. We can now just fly up mountains with the froggy armor. Uh, so much good attack stuff, royal stuff. With the means to teleport anywhere to get good equipment, um, champion weapons, all that. Wearing nice Rito bows and all that. Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling I was gonna be here. Tingle Island. Okay, so it's not what's above that counts, it's what's below. Hmm. 
was a fight move seed. Drop it. <laughs> it's going first. <laughs> it's too scary otherwise. Ooh. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. A little bit of plucking. Picking apples. Uh oh, that's fine. <laughs> Perfect. Love having this out. We could use the uh, weapons, zonite, everything. Save on that. And two for one. Just enough, I think. Almost. As Birdman. Ooh. Yeah, I'll, I'll get equipped again. I'm really excited to go down here. Ring low? That's a shame. Yeah, actually, I remember when we had like a thousand before. And then I discovered auto build. Because we didn't find auto build until like after the third dungeon, I believe. Long throw. Long throw turns things into a bullet. Oh no. Okay. 25 more durability. Because fusing something adds 25 durability. But it'll take it away too when you remove it. Yeah, if I don't have a hammer weapon, then it's not going to be a hammer. <sighs> Sorry, B weapon. It's for a little companion. So sorry. Yeah, we'll get a bunch. Uh, when we find another mine, we'll get more of the large crystals. That's too important. Yeah, we're tons of large, so we're doing okay. Flip them over. Ow. Not a flip. I wish flipping over made him, like, weaker, but it doesn't. It's just like a stun. Wait, is that the... Hey. <laughs> My hole. Not yours. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. There's gonna be single access points to all of them. Yep. And these guys. Have you learned from my new tactic? Your friends on the surface should have told you. The sun kills them. Love not knowing all these tricks. It's it makes everything so cool. Lose track of time in the depths. Yep. It's all just one zone. Day, night means no difference here. It's just time itself. So it kind of goes away. No, I love the depths so much. Also, if it's nighttime, I always like to, uh, any sort of armor that has night speed. Because 20% buff is pretty nice for just running around. And of course, with stealth. Yeah. As long as you're not sprinting, that all comes easily. Sprinting is very loud. There we go. A little flower garden. Yeah. I just love how it's like a different planet. A lonely planet, too. That's so interesting. Hmm. I 
If only like a spike strip or something. Make an auto miner. Although, otherwise, the best way to do it for these rocks is you know, Oops. Or mess it up entirely. Let's get. There we go. You. Do I see a knock rock? Not really. You ready? Sure are. Sure, there's gonna be a lot of digging required. If those tunnels go all the way deep, then yeah, certainly. And this does not function as a. No, but rocks do. That's okay, I guess. I prefer better though. I love this. This has got to be the most efficient way. This or like any sort of weapon fusion. Also, sa sapphire? Ruby? Wow, okay. <laughs> Smashed A over everything. Actually, decent mining. <laughs> Keep sliding, tripping, whatever's going on. It's in the next room. I like how it's like a linear area now. Oh, got some layers. And yeah, it's all light lit up from the bright bloom seeds, despite uh, you know, none being here. The light roots. So not bright bright bloom, light roots. My bad. But yeah, it's using the light from these or from this light root specifically, I think. Which is kind of cool. I think it just wants us to keep going though. Where's the drill shaft? I know. They chipped us out of that one. It's it's a little disappointing. Hmm. I guess if you really wanna I get crafty, but uh try a different way too. Just keep doing that. It's about the same. You throw it with like a spear or I don't know. I like the mineral method more. But it is an option. These are all options. Okay. The normal drops. We still got another one left, so. I ain't bailing yet. Does a long throw make it charge faster too? No, it's because it's slow regardless. Who's here? Any camps? Oh, there's this offer. Oh. Why did I do that? I'm surprised I didn't get he did. But the loot dead. Oh never mind, I'm just blind. Why did I miss that? Oops. These are cool, just so tall. What type of weapons will we find? Ooh, the left shoulder spears. Okay. These are awesome for the for the healer weapons. Uh I, I will gladly use this. Um I should drop that. What's attack up? Okay. Better durability for these. Uh because I was meshing with the light dragon stuff. It's one of my favorite weapons in the game. The light dragon. Basically because of the quick charge. You can just get like the most one hits per second. And with that, every hit is a quarter heart restored. So for a weapon like this where it's about the quantity of hits, not so much the damage. Yeah. Soldier Spear is the best way. And if it's restored, it has more durability. So you deal fast damage and uh, you also heal yourself. It's very nice. The Jewel Shaft removal made Gorn Run even less possible. It did. The Gorn Run, that was totally always going to happen. There we go. That actually kind of works nice. So if you just rapid fire like that, but... Weapon durability. Yeah, these rocks take a bit to get through, but... It's kind of nice that we're getting all this gem stuff, though. 
These rocks don't respawn though, so just a one time. Take advantage. Oh. Ah, uh, we'll probably get like. Uh, well, I say another sapphire. I'm feeling lucky. Sorry. Okay. My luck is extinguished. Okay, what is here though? There's a map. Wait, Tingle. Wait a second. It's the Tingle Islands, right? No, I found the other two on caves. Wait a second. Don't even tell me. <laughs> Let me find it first. Uh, I think, cause Tingle shirt, Tingle tights, and these are literally the Tingle Islands, right? Tingle Island, ankle, knuckle, Davy, Dave D. This has got to be the Tingle suit. Oh my God. Please be Tingle, please be Tingle. I'll take it because Tingle was huge in Wind Waker. And it's on the sea. Okay, I really thought it was going to be Tingle though. Um, do we have any of this one? I don't remember. We just have so many assorted ones. <gasps> I recognize her danger. Uh, we do have Tunic, okay. Well, still very cool. I wanted more. The gloom guys. Florium. <laughs> Bunch them all up. Ah, not, not you. Can't get off fast enough. Woo. Ah, I didn't see that one. You get these flurries somehow. It's okay. You guys stay preoccupied. Or that too. Don't do it yet. No! I didn't even see that. Well, that works. <laughs> I've never been able to parry, but that's not helpful anyways. Early. There we go. A little bit of our own attack up. Oh my god, the cannons. Keep going for it? We both got like DMAX swords. That's cool. I would like your bow though, that's my that's my treasure here. When we pick it up it is. Um Don't need two of those. Nice. <laughs> the more hearts the better. Okay, that was cool. Um <laughs> actually just stuff behind a nice menacing foe. Gloomy lads. Oh, just the one enemy camp. Okay. I know it is all going to be here, but it makes sense. That's some cool item. But I do need more areas with Zonites specifically. And we did hear about Lynels being under stables. So that's kind of nice information. I feel like I should do something with that. Um, first, are we all good? Yep, there's no depths under there. So flannels are under stables. What's our... Hmm. We could check that out. Also, like, there's, there's this whole depths area. And this depths area, I know, is one of the few that has Royal Guard. We didn't check anything out here or the depths area itself. Huh, maybe we should. Yeah, because I know the few Royal Guard weapons are there. There's that X. So it must be a hard area. That's my thought, so... Okay. Yeah, <laughs> me thinking. With our Link Armor too. It's the only one we have upgraded. We spent six Star Fragments getting it this high. <laughs> no way bro has 800 arrows. We actually spent a lot of it maxed out. Uh, so we, we, we've been using more, but arrows are super liquid in this game. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm going to use the restroom really quick. Uh, Lando's under every... S Stable, except to bond the bridge stable. Yep, I remember hearing about that. It's still very neat. Um, I'm going to save. Give me like three minutes to use the restroom. Then we're going to check out... Uh, literally, this area is so close to the center. Um, but apparently, the depths area is one of the hardest in the game. Or one of the most scaled, at least. As it has Royal Guard weapons. Um, 
So we'll check it out. I will be right back. Uh, give me a couple minutes, please. Uh, yeah, with our cool weapons out. Um, maybe we'll do a couple amiibos too when we get back. Um, meantime, Baby Floyd watches the stream. And also, boink. So give me a couple. And uh, yeah, see you then. I'm back. Seems like we did get struck by lightning, which is good. Thank you, guys. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I let's plug in and get ready. I always had to look at the weather forecast, and it's like, okay, no lightning, just a little rain. Um, no chance of enemies. We always have our friends backing us up too. But yeah. Um, hope everyone is having fun though. Um. It's nice, we'll do this today and then uh, also Wednesday we'll be live again, so. I still like making Wednesday like my for sure stream day. Uh, Cause the schedule's been, you know, all over the place with the new game cause I'm just playing it a lot. So uh, yeah, usually I try to make Wednesday my main day like I always had it, so. Um, so in weeks where we don't stream a lot, I usually will at least stream that Wednesday. But yeah, we'll get all this fruit stuff. All the fruits. Very good fruits and carrots. 
Oh yeah, we can also get our amiibos. Uh, well, we have a couple more. I guess before we charge the area. Um, I think that was the cave where we got the barbarian stuff. So we were there for that and then dipped. I'm sure it's got to be a hidden depth entrance. Um, we'll do a couple of amiibos though in case we get some nice stuff. I have like five more left up here. There is uh, one, Revali. Because we have two of the champion things, but we don't have the other two. So let's see if we can get the Revali glider. And then Urbosa's next. Because we have Daruk's and Mifa's glider. So. Oh! It has Revali's face! <laughs> Of course, he's arrogant enough to have a glider with himself on it. That's, that, that's actually perfect. Okay. Um, when we do more snow stuff, probably in the highlands, that'll be perfect. Because snow, heights, bird, I don't know. Next is Urboso. Again, my two favorite champions, so. Will we get lucky and get the final champion amiibo? I guess we'll find out. Yep. And it's got... No, but I like Rudo Shields, so that is fine. No. Okay, I can't do the Twilight Princess once again, because it's just going to spawn a Pona. So two more. Um, one is Wind Waker Zelda. And you can guess what the next one's going to be after this. Um, oh, five plants. Just herbs this time, really. Yep. And any of the wild stuff or... Oh! Something I actually need. Okay, now two more. <laughs> it's a very low chance, assuming it works the same like Breath of the Wild. Like, probably less than 2%. Uh, but yeah, it'll be nice to have the Windwicker Glider, so let's try again with uh, Windwicker Link. I don't have all the amiibos right here with me, but... My goal is to get all of them at some point. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Well, yeah, we got a, a glider, which is cool. Also, I don't know if it's my luck, but it's usually like the first in a bunch that I scan is when I get the, the cool thing. But well, we got one. That's that's progress. I'll see a monster control one, Elden Ostrich, and Ritu. Yeah. With the magic stuff. Yeah, I'm using my Star Fragments uh, to upgrade the, uh, the silly armor we just got. Uh, Link's Awakening one, yeah. Because I don't know how the set bonuses are going to be for all of them. So, well, obviously Fury State is different. Um, but yeah, I'll figure that out. We just need parts. Star Fragments with Magic Staff is the best. I didn't find a use for it. I'm um, going to be honest. I don't know how it's good in any way. You need to reach your friend, huh? Oh, this is simple. I'm not gonna... Uh, I, I mean, I can't help you. It's fine. I have a plan B. So you have a friend, right? Needs a bit of assistance. Just a bit, right? Okay. He's like up there. Well, we can make this work. Here. We'll do a little bit of uh, reverse shipping here. What do, I, what do you want? Like a... Uh, I don't know, what, what do you find kind of fun? Maybe a, uh... Hmm... Meat! Here. We'll give him a little snack. He can kind of snack and go, maybe. And just kind of go across. Can you reach your friend? Well, of course we... You're still on the menu, don't worry. Attach you to there. And you wanna go back? Okay. Meat was waiting for you. Just a little longer. And... I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. I know that's all it took too, but... You're, you're a pesky little thingy, are you? It's not like I could do that again. Okay, I was playing with the hover stones earlier. Let's 
Yomp. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, a rocket would have been perfectly fine. Yeah, we, we just kind of scammed our whole operation, honestly. <laughs> Meat based transportation was. <laughs> Guess you guys weren't ready for that yet. But one day we'll love to do it. Yeah, you bet we're gonna meet this. Wait, that's a hoverstone, not a meat. I need a recently used category. Um, oh. Guess you perfectly plan on that, not me. This is not gonna work. Like, at all. Wait, it might actually. Please work. Please do it. Fish him out. Meat fishing. Yeah. There you, there you go. That's all you have to do. It's your friend. <laughs> that was silly. Okay. Well, the meat, meat transport worked a little bit. See, we weren't even being that cruel that time. I think there's a hundred of those guys, which is crazy. A run where you get all of them in one place. I like just moving things silly. It's it's quite a hobby. Okay, but we're trying to explore this and try to find the depth entrance because underneath apparently it has some of the best weapons we can find. Hmm. Yeah, I like Twilight Princess Link. It was just a full first set we happened to find. So I'm rocking with it. And plus, this is a cool one, so. Because of Dark Luster, do it. It just fits. Blend in well. Oh, hi, you're kind of in the way. Nice. No, 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 mine. <laughs> See my corks are on these hills. At least a few. Is it Tal's camp? <laughs> so the goals here are just to always find the most creative way to do things. I'm gonna muddle with this guy. Wait. I can't muddle about him because I can have a free thing to pick off the uh, the thing, right? Okay, there we go. So he's gonna shoot at the thing. Nope. The weak point's right there. Oh! Wait! He just flung him off! Oh, because he's muddle butted! Oh my god! We just flung up his friends! <laughs> That's genius! So you can just literally wipe house with them. Turn a battle talus into a lone talus on stilts. <laughs> and then just, yeah. Fling me, why don't you? <laughs> Sorry, that was so funny. I feel like we got a lot out of it, but uh, neat for sure. <laughs> Very neat indeed. Yeah, so I guess you can muddle about anything. I guess we'll try Ugly Act next, but you know, we, we can get near some enemies. I feel like it really goes for everything. Yeah. Chasm. I mean, the hope is that there's a chasm on this island. If not, we'll have to enter through the bottom. But how would we do that? I don't know. I guess entering through Kakariko, which... Again. Well, I guess we'll see. Wait for me to do that. Because <laughs> if not, uh, I still want to see what's here. Because we just haven't explored it, so I'm like... We should explore it. 
What about a Hinox or Frox? Gotcha. I will do that next time I see him. Be fun. Yeah, this area is just like always neat. It is very close to the starting area, so it makes me think that there wouldn't be anything big. I mean, it was a big elemental area in Breath of the Wild. Like all these would house like a different element. These tree trunks. So I kind of want to see how that's changed. Nope. No fires. Me fire. A lot of birds. They don't have any ammunition though, so we're fine. Hmm. Rocks. Too many. Ow. <laughs> Technically, you can. And yeah, rain is not stopping me anymore. I'm trying to use up this zone hypo. Oh, you're, you're still gonna shoot your rocks, aren't you? Nope. Criticals. Whoop. <laughs> okay, we got the most important parts. And you're gonna be a soldier shield or royal shield. Rock salt? You really do surprise, don't you? I like how their drops change, like, depending on all the different regions. So that's an okay way of potentially finding more uh, weapons and whatnot. So, like, want more Rito weapons? Kill like likes in the Rito area? So, you don't have to just always resort to uh, oh, <laughs> the normal spawns. Hello, Gloom spawns. <laughs> there we go. Ban them away, get some quick spins in there. They're all very close, so this works out kind of perfect. <laughs> very perfect, actually. Oops. Thanks, so helpful. Oops, look. Ow. Ah, uh, my Hylian shield. <laughs> I don't know the timing for the two endings very well. This one, sure. Easy. Not that one. The jumps are just like the Lionel ones, so. There we go. And flurries, too. <laughs> Get a lot more attacking potential. need three zone bows, honestly. They're cool, but I always resort to other things, so we'll do that. <laughs> there we go. We still have good range and fire speed for the normals. <laughs> Accuracy still on you though. If I just heard shrine music or what? I think so. I feel like there would be a shrine over here. I mean, there'd probably be a light root down here, so. It might be tucked away in one of these trees, just like how it was in Breath of the Wild. There's a lot of trees, so. I like trees. Uh, not, not quite perfect. Can we ascend? It seems so. Just, just barely. Well, if using gloom weapons to the master sword, <laughs> just the duality of weapons. Gloom and, uh, divine. Do the same damage with no gloom pull. Oh, gotcha, okay. Yeah, that's actually fair. Because it adds a lot of fusion points, then. I might, I might try to do that, then, in the future. Well, maybe not with that one. Next Master Sword, when we break this one. Well, thank you. I'll, I'll definitely be trying that. Oh, so yeah, we did do the Gerudo Sanctuary quest. We did most over there, besides the Skeleton one. Because we found that one, like, first. Uh, but it's technically the last quest you're supposed to do in that line. 
I definitely am close to a shrine, which I'll find it. It's gotta be somewhere. I heard like the music. I know, I'm just gonna check this out first. Oh, not bad. Made very nice work. All sort of dumb spiky shields. Love what with the Demon King's bow, if you have one heart because of gloom, you can have a two damage bow. Wow. I love how there's like the duality of, uh, you know, like heart conditional weapons. So there's like the gloom stuff where it's like, obviously that's very heart conditional. And if you have just one heart, it only do two damage with the bow. But on the other hand, uh, having one heart activates your dust for strength for night weapons. So where having low hearts is bad for gloom weapons, it's good for night weapons. Gives you dust for strength. So that's an interesting duality. We'll pick the guy. This is such an unnecessary. Hi. Don't cannon. There goes to that loot. Ow! That's just annoying, you know? Let's get that shrine soon. Okay. You go with your friend. While I do all this stuff, I'm gonna look for a star fragment, so. Because it's nighttime, so. It should be in the condition, too. I'm gonna casually start looking up for a star fragment. I need it. Oh, can I get the shrine sensor? I, I don't like doing the shrine sensor. It's a bit annoying. I'd rather just find it organically. I, don't, I had never used it once in the playthrough. I didn't need to kill him. He was just insulting my eyes. Yeah. All the goofy monsters, yeah. Wiz robes. Yeah, especially the coblins. I like how goofy they are. The peblets. I don't know, I just like a lot of the enemy design in this game is, you know, they work well as monsters, but they're also, you know, goofy enough to have their own appeal. There are interesting things to fight. Not just random bandit 73, you know? Zelda monsters are always very fun. Sweet weak guys. Yeah, I guess low level area. Oh, party! Insta party. Get caged. <laughs> Trying to kill red goblins. They're really chill, but blue and above get the work. That's fair. Yeah, red goblins are just silly happy guys. You could say it the same about the rest, but they're more of an imposing threat, so I get that. It's fair. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He got a concussion and death at the same time. Like a huge one. Levels ahead. How's my day? It's going good. Um, no, I, I took the weekend away a little bit. I'll be back again Wednesday doing stuff, but it's just been fun doing this. Uh, looking to stuff for videos and challenge runs soon. Uh, also just enjoying summer. Like trying to get out a bit. Um, it's like it hasn't always been nice with all the, uh, well, there's been a lot of like, like air quality warnings around here because of all the, like Canada wildfires. So uh, haven't been able to get outside a little bit earlier, but things are, you know, okay sometimes. Plucking. How do you think the enemies got their horns? Uh, it just, it's like Ganon's like special like little warts in the different tiers. And he's like, okay, your horns uh need a bit of an upgrade, but yeah, it's because Ganon was being bored and wanted to give him different horns. That that's my head cannon. Um, that's okay because he deserved a bit more pizzazz. I, I like how they all are different. 
So this game does get a master mode. Uh, that means we'll get a new like branch of horn types too. Yeah, if you want to see where you haven't explored, we didn't go on that big one yet, or that one. It'll be mostly accurate. Like if you flew over things, sometimes you can't tell if it's you've been there or not. But you try your best. That's where we fought the like, like, right? It is. Don't tell me that's where the shrine. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I heard it. Ren is shrine. Z, Ner. I'm trying to say it backwards from the light roots, because light roots are backwards. Yeah. That's okay. Hopefully, stuff clears up with the fires. It's okay. Jump the gaps. I wonder if there's gaps to jump. Do you think there would be? Maybe not. Oh. <laughs> I would not want to be hit by that. I think I understand this one. Playing in traffic. Wah! <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, now it's uh, the puzzle plus here. Bye bye. Yeah, there's a lot of these side chests where it's just like, okay. You know, just take the parts of the mechanism, but use it to build a bridge. This one more literal, because that's all you have in the shrine. What's funny is it'll just be like random parts, like, oh, it's a minecart thing, but there's a chest at the side. That's okay, just still build a random bridge all the minecarts to get the chest. Not all the time, but it's kind of funny. Sometimes there'll be like a whole optional puzzle, like, that corresponds to the main ones, and those are cool. There's been a lot of really good shrines in this game, though, like... I remember in the desert there was one where it was like a whole sand sea kind of thing. And you had uh you had to carry some stuff around it, but there's a bunch of like enemies and whatnot. Uh, so you kinda go from like island to island on a little like sand raft. And I thought that was really cool. Uh that was awesome. All like the you know the combat trial ones were really good. So like the ones where it takes all your weapons. Uh, in fact I love those way more than test of strengths, so. Uh oh. It's funny how there's two different ways to do this. Oh. Well, technically. Okay, you got this. I just want to see if we can. It'll be kind of funny, so. Here we go. And I was grabbing the wrong piece, of course. I just want to see the possibilities here. It's kind of fun to think that we can. Give it a three, two, one. Okay, so if I grabbed it from the middle piece, which that's what I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. No, okay. Uh, I was trying to be a little clever. But also maybe let's let's just try it because I'm curious, honestly. So what if we made that the middle? Then it should theoretically be closer, so we should maybe be able to. I shouldn't say see if you thought of it. It's again, I know what the intended solution is, it's just
No, okay, that's fine. Well, he really didn't want to make sure he couldn't do that. There's a little fall platform. It's cute. I don't think realistically you go like that. And then. Oh. Don't go too high now, but. I'm sure there's no repercussions. Ball, ball, ball. That was a repercussion. Yeah, it was a little too high. Um, also because it was a big stop. That's. <laughs> I like talking about these early game shrines now, it's kind of fun. We're a little too steep, aren't we? The distance will be perfect. Nice. And we got the chest we did. Oh. I miss how in Breath of the Wild, uh, you could like jump during the freeze. Cause like the game would freeze to show the door opening thing. So I'd always try to like jump in a silly pose or do something. So the game would freeze on that. And the camera would zoom in. But now it like stops your gameplay first and then it freezes the game. So I messed up. <laughs> oh nice. You were watching my previous runs and you kept saying to yourself at certain parts <laughs> to use ascend or use fusing. You remember it wasn't in that game. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally understandable. It's like... You know, there's a lot of interchangeable things between the two games, so... Uh, yeah, that's why the adjustment was a bit, bit odd, and when I first played this game, like, there was times where I was trying to stick stuff together to create, like, a little ladder instead of ascending. Uh, remember a couple times in, like, the early game uh, Horribling Caves? Like, you know how you can ascend up to the, like, little platforms? Uh, yeah, I was climbing for the first few, not gonna lie. Because uh, it's just, like, I don't know, that perspective makes sense from Breath of the Wild, or... I would stick things together to create something I could climb. So I was using a bit of tears knowledge, but yeah, there's a whole ability. So I forgot little things like that, which I guess is fair. You know, it's a, it's a massive game. But yeah, I'm happy they removed. Uh, well, a lot of the glitches from Breath of the Wild, though. I mean, even the whistle spreading, it's like I I was using a because it was there, but honestly, it it's much more enjoyable just actually traveling normally. <laughs> I mainly just use it because I played the hell out of Breath of the Wild, so I was fine with doing those little exploits. Hello. Three! Whew! No way! Yeah. Oop. No roasted meat now. Yeah. That was just funny. I like that. I was not expecting it, and that's why I liked it. I'll say, like, I think Cart Shield's my favorite. I don't know how that went wrong. I could just use his own ampo, I'm aware. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. was fun, but you learn to enjoy the scenery of the game more. Yeah, no, I, I totally get that. And like, wind bombing wasn't even discovered until like 2019. So like, it was a little after two years after the World came out. So I started using it because I played the game so many times before. Um, yeah, my original playthroughs of the game, my first two was before I even started a channel. Uh, third one was my first streams ever. Um, so yeah, I learned a lot through time where I feel like the rate of which I'm going to learn a lot of outsider stuff now, it, it's already way higher than Breath of the Wild. But, you know, to be fair, it's also the fact that uh, this is a direct sequel and a lot of stuff carries over. So it's going to be experienced a lot different compared to, like, if you played this game as your first game, or you played Breath of the Wild before. Because there's probably a lot of people who, uh, you know, this is their first Zelda game. Or first new Zelda game. Like, they haven't played Breath of the Wild. Because, you know, new games just bring in their own crowd. So. For maybe a good, like, 10% of people, at least, this is their first, like, new age Zelda game, or open world Zelda game. Yeah. So, who are you? Sarvi. I, didn't, I haven't even talked to you. Everyone likes money. Oh, well, this person just gets money! <laughs> oh. A true capitalist. Uh, traveling chef, look out for the freshest ingredients caves can offer. Oh. Oh. K 
caves have, yeah, very natural ingredients. Treasure chests. Mm. Oh, yeah, we saw that opening. There was a luminous house in there. See some cooking. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they like money. And it means to get money through mining. And that's okay. Well, after this, we're going to check out that depth stuff, I think. So, well, a, a bridge with no Korok? Breath of the Wild had a Korok, like, under every single bridge. To some degree, even just, like, a dangling acorn. Or a rock among the ledges. Uh, when the rock circles off the bridges, so... I guess there's less puzzle types you could do, and they didn't want to mirror that same pattern in this game. Tim's bridge. Okay, I just wanted for the map completion. We are at uh, 70.94, so we finished the game with like 66 something. Um, so we did a lot, honestly. Also, hello, he's got a chest. Hmm. You know, I'm actually gonna use the eyeball. It's like one of the few times I actually use it. I should have just not used that too. Yeah. The eyeball is made for those guys. Perfect. I don't know how we did that, but we did. I'm all the happier. No, hit the choo choos. Never mind. Back off! Mine! My chest. Mine. Yeah, it's okay, you know, but you tried. So if you want to build sillies, you can. We didn't do this island, did we? We didn't. Oh, there's a whole camp here now. I see Korok, it's okay. I'll help after a nice sprint. Used to be like I think some Lazalfos on here. Oh. Well, they got this whole place fortified pretty well. I've come to negotiate with your lives. <laughs> oh, you came here. Okay, let's talk it out. So I really want what you have. Uh, don't shoot me. I said no. Okay, who's next? Let's call him on over. Silver. One day. Oh, right there. Okay. Oh. Ow. If you want to get waterlogged. Hey. I wasn't ready yet. Much better. Ow. Wait, that's a bit of danger. Eliminate it. Please. One more good shot. No, these aren't good shots. Stop! <sighs> okay, um, might be in a bit of a pickle. How do you get over here? Is that my work? <laughs> okay. The beam would have been more helpful. Here. Okay, you get out. Stop! I should outrange all of you guys. How oh, much better? Red book goblin. Bit annoying. And we're out of stuff. <laughs> Ah. I've come to bargain. Oh, wait. Have you? I prefer that type of bargaining. Fast and simple. To the point, too. Hello. Slap. <laughs> you try to avenge. That was a fun camp. I actually like that they made this into a camp. Because it was a... I believe it was a shrine island. Yeah, but it's still covered in bramble. I think so. This is cool. Uh, not a good shot regardless. Thanks, Dylan. <laughs> it's too much fun. Oh, 
Have you tried putting on the Zone Helm or riding the Construct? No, I will try that in like 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, zone I hope to say. Okay, we'll get Minerva back. You need to upgrade it more for the record. One second. This first. There. You can have those. I'm not a huge fan. If only the long throw weapon up. I do. That was lame. <laughs> I had the right idea. Wait, what if it hits while it? Ah, oh, it, it did shield it though. That's kind of cool. Ooh, you're lucky. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that mineral thing. Mineral zone. <gasps> what? It's like the divine helmet. Wait, does it actually make do more damage? You know, maybe I have seen it before, but I didn't like fully notice it, or it didn't stick with me. Does it actually like enhance it just like the Divine Helms? Because, yeah, I guess it has that sort of resonance, just like how a Divine Helmet would help like the Sages. Well, the Zona Helmet would help the Construct because it's all within the energy up. The Sacred Realm of Zonai. That's really cool. Um, well, thank you for sharing. Uh -oh. I wish I could just bat this guy across the map. <laughs> it's gonna wobble a lot though. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to torture you that much. See, there's a quark torture. Happy? <laughs> well, the arms are gold too, I didn't notice. Yeah, that's cool. So, probably more damage. Huh, well, uh. If only I had like a wheel. Is there is there a wheel here? There is. If only I could fuse this guy to the the cart itself. I guess I could put him on for a little bit, but I'll be very slow. What exactly am I trying? I don't know. Um There's not much I can torture him with, so sadly it's uh be what it be. But theoretically, if I plop you on the cart, can't fuse to it. I just want to see if it is possible, because I know Link can write it, but. Yeah. Ah, maybe Lanero Bond. I, I may be. Um, sticky frogs, show me what you have. Ah. <laughs> Not for 40 a pop, I won't. I can get those outside Kakariko. And in some odd caves. Alright, take him, guy. Never mind. <laughs> I think we froze him. No. Okay, maybe this guy just doesn't like when you have people on him. Because I've ridden on backs of others before. Also, there's a camp. But I gotta get this guy to his home. I'm coming with you, so don't worry. We come in pairs. This is gonna be the most balanced, sensible machine we ever need. And it's got the wheel for a little, a little flourish, you know. <laughs> I should have put this on a raft. It basically is. Oh wait, no, it's perfect, because that means I can push him out now. There we go. Look how perfect that is. 
I wasn't even trying, just <laughs> need to work so it did. Totally confused the Korok to Minero. <laughs> I see why they didn't. Hmm. Because, you know, he could break a lot, but I get that. What if we just keep him in the tree? That worked well. Nice. <laughs> All the access Korok seeds, because we can't have any more slots. Right, he wasn't deserving a whole vehicle this time. We made plenty of those today. See, I'm not even trying to be a cruel. Hmm. I guess now, since we were over here, I can check this area, then Krennel Peak. There's so much to check out still. Oops. It's sun showering. No, but I still didn't find a uh, star frame besides the one from the amiibo. You tried. Oh, there's a, Ooh, a well over there. Using the tools of the Zonai. Spike ball. Oh, there's still a Bacoblin camp here. Okay. Yeah, this was just like from Breath of the Wild. Oh, stopped early. Could do more damage, could not. Who knows? Bye, Cage. I just like bullying. Oh, yeah, one thing I noticed, yeah, your rate of fire is uh, faster if you do left, right, left, or vice versa. So, like, it's pretty slow, right? And then, same with the left. But uh, if you alternate right, left, right, or, you know, one, it doesn't work after three, but those first three will be faster. So, one, two, three. Yeah. So, they're much faster if you do it that way. Sometimes I just forget uh, the little thing I discovered. So, well, that's usually what I try to do when I remember. And again, I play around with stuff so much, so it's like, I'm going to find some things. Uh, now I'm hearing about a lot of outside stuff, which is cool. Like, uh, the whole Dazzle Fruit thing. Of how Dazzle Fruits instantly kill skeletons, which is very helpful. Nope. Link's attacking combos, right? Oh, it's a whole... Under... There's a whole Under Ruins? That's cool. Is there a... Maybe that leads to something. <gasps> oh, no way. Wait, there's a whole prison down here. That's what this was? What? That is so cool. I don't have a lot of wells left, so... I guess, yeah, that's who I was about to ascend, or try to. That's really... in a royal shield. Interesting, I like the prison-esque areas uh, from... Well, this is one's like in the royal hidden passage with the soldier armor. This just kind of reminded me a little bit like that, but... Okay, I, I really dig that one. A very interesting well. They're not all cool like that. Surface level, but and also I think that yeah, downstairs area was just added to a little bit. Was there always that? It didn't definitely open, obviously, but I don't think that stair area was there. <laughs> yeah, Nobo's trapped. It's okay. That's for being bad earlier, a long time ago. But yay for no forgiveness. Also, <laughs> you put a clock thing on that zone I tell her. Why'd I do that? Like that was gonna work. Thanks for 
Mm. Trying to pick a target here. Nice. Good enough. Yeah. How many shrines do I have left? It should be in the description. Uh, well, we now know the max counts like 156, so. I always update what the current counts are in the run, uh, or playthrough rather. Just in the description, so you can always see those. That always reflects what the star of the stream is, so it's usually a tad higher. Stairs are 100% new, that's fair. I'm saying, like, I didn't know if it was, like, rubble beforehand, you know? And they just removed that. And from what I saw, you, you can't get crushed by these. It just never happened to us. I'm sure, it's extremely rare, so... Oh, yeah, this area. Oh, no, it's confusing that area for this area, I think. Still, both. No, I don't know. I just remember them both existing. Okay, so apparently, Gloom weapon on Master Sword. Because extra damage, but doesn't decrease it. That's a good idea, okay. Thanks for telling me about that. Oh. Sorry, Minoru. Is Longthor gotten to Boomerang? Uh, doesn't quite exist. I mean, you can replicate it. I can't say replicate because it's not real. Oops. Uh, but if you put a wing on a Boomerang, it does make it throw a lot further and faster. At least respectively. Um, so we'll do the arc in about the same time, but it, the arc goes longer. But yeah, like, I don't know. All the bird combos are very interesting because on bow shots, it makes it fly further and faster. My favorite shield, though, that's something I discovered a while ago. Um, if we take just like, I'll take a royal shield, that's fine. Um, bird glider. Um, it's very subtle, but it makes you jump higher. I don't think it's a friction thing, but see how you get a much higher jump? Like that's, it really pops up. Gloom Wolf has good feels to anything, that's fair. I'm just... I mean, in that case, we'll just use monster parts. Yeah. We'll save it for Master, because it's just like... Yeah. I like having, like, certain things for certain things. So I might make Gloom Wolf as my new, like, Master Sword fusers, you know? Because you don't find them super often. Like, when a Master Sword recharges, maybe you'll find them there. Just gonna respawn. Okay, you do that. Personal favor is Gloom Club plus Gerudo Claymore. That probably looks sick. <laughs> the old school Gerudo weapons. As Gandorf would like it, at least. No. I thought I needed to use that full weapon against you, but I did. No boomerang. I used to love Boomerang's early game, but, you know, because it's fun having that elemental dispensers on them. Bye-bye. Can't really chain that into a climb. No. Probably adds a bit for distance, too. Just naturally. Oh, <laughs> like that. I dig that. I know durability is going to be low, but yeah, extra range is always fun. Also, thank you, Zebra, for the membership. Or, Zerba, I'm sorry, I said Zebra. Um, But thank you so much. Welcome to the salad. There we go. We'll swap our glider soon. I just, I'm really enjoying the, the milk glider. Hello. <laughs> One shot. I think we need to waste it for all them, but we have OP weapons galore. So for that, I say... Laser boomerangs OP. Well, I would say they're very fun. <laughs> like, I don't know, just spinning around all the elements is a great thing. Yeah, I can agree on that standpoint, too. So. 
For sure, gravity boots to let you jump around with labyrinth gravity everywhere. That would be so wild. I think it's cool that it at least exists in this game. Like, I was not expecting it. Um, you know, labyrinths, the uh, Zora dungeon, and then... I think there was another shrine at least. Oh yeah, like, a lot of the areas like in the... I think it was like the Sky Islands and uh, the Gerudo Highlands area. And also a shrine, I believe, had low gravity. But yeah, notably the labyrinths, because that was the first time I saw it, I guess. It was, it was the Hebrew Labyrinth. Um, it was so cool. I was, like, geeking so hard. This was, like, the first thing we did after leaving Central Hyrule. Uh, just having a blast. Okay. Well, that was, that was a good run. I'm going to miss this Gerudo, or Rito weapon. Also, yeah, I like the information you can learn just by looking at a weapon's, like, sparkles. Wait, there was a mod... Wait. Yeah, modifier would mean the bigger sparkle, so... Let's drop that. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, like, a big sparkle on it. That means it's just modifier, and... There. Yeah. So on the Demon King's bow, there's a little sparkle. On the bone one, there's a bigger sparkle sort of thing. So the bigger sparkle like trail means that there's a modifier. When it's a single, it means that there's no modifier. So that's one thing that's cool. Um, I guess the other would be uh, a more recent discovery. Well, usually you hit something and, you know, your weapon takes damage. So hit this grass. It just makes an impact or whatever the thing would be. Um, but if you hit something that doesn't take durability... Because there's a lot of surfaces that don't, so like hitting and activating zoning devices or switches. Um, I don't know, let me just throw down like a bomb grid. Notice when I hit it, there's like a blue light that comes out of it. Sorry. Notice the blue sparkle. Like, it's a, like a little blue ting. That means no durable is taken. So I didn't know that there's a thing until uh, like a month ago, actually. So I thought that was really cool, because that must have existed in Breath of the Wild, too. I just wasn't as observant. I mean, the modified uh, jingle has a unique sound. That's true, too. If you look out for the sound, or hear out for it. So those weapons will make a different sound. So there may be a sound difference with a weapon taking no durability, too. I just don't know. But yeah, just really subtle stuff that, like... The game will never tell you, but the more you play it, it's going to be really helpful to know, because you could pick up on the cues of what you're doing quite well. When we're testing, sledge shields are, aren't noticeably any different than cart shields. Yeah, that's what I noticed. I don't know. I'm trying to find the difference between sledge shields, cart shields, like frozen shields, like your frozen meat stuff, and then how that compares to just, you know, the surfing friction of good shields, like the radiance or the mind's eye. Like, does it just override its friction property, or does it stack with it? My assumption is no override. So we still kept our Radiant Shield as is. Well, we broke it, but, uh... Mind's Eye Shield without the rocket, yeah, that'll be our sleekest one. Because I believe it's just Mind's Eye, Radiant. It was Ancient Shield, but obviously that's gone. I'm, I'm missing one, I don't know. Hello, Loopy. <gasps> I had a feeling there was going to be a cave in here. This was the bear area from Breath of the Wild. And I always liked this area because there were bears. <laughs> now it's just a piggy. Hi, piggy. Oh, tireless. Okay. What was he even raining? Yeah, in terms of all the, like, subtle stuff, though, I think it was, everything was in Breath of the Wild, I just didn't notice the, uh, the blue sparkle thing. It's so, like, no blue sparkle means taking their ability. At least as a general rule. I'm not sure if Lionel's had that same thing, though, because they're kind of special. So the Gruta, does the Gruta shield have less? Because there's less friction, and then there's a right-to-break ratio. Right-to-break ratio means that it takes less durability while surfing, 
and I believe Gruder Shield's on there, along with, uh, I think Steel Lizzle Shield's also on there. There's kind of a weird list, so certain shields break slower while surfing, uh, but only a few of them have less friction. I should know I did a stats video on it, but it was like three and a half years ago already. Um, so I remember a lot of the big things, but very small things, not my memory all the time. Okay, there is a cave. <laughs> a little brawl is going to break out, I see. All right, Hylian Shield isn't slick, though. It just has a lot of durability, so. You know, actually, we're going to wait on this. Just just a moment. Just a moment. Um, because what I do want to do instead, build a little funny. The hits against Gandorf also don't use durability, and they also have a blue spark, but it's much bigger. Really? So it applies for any weapon? Oh, I thought it was... I thought it was just because the Master doesn't take durability, so... None of your weapons take durability against Ganon. I need a confirmation, because that that's going to be very important for challenge running. Uh, so you could theoretically beat him with a stick easier. Maybe. Love the farm mechanics. Yeah, I have, I have to use more of that. Build a proper fishing boat. That would be cool. Yeah, the first challenge run on the channel was back in 2020. Uh, later 2020 was the amiibo run, which was very fun. And I still love that one so much. So, okay, we have to... I, might pick, I might get more parts in between streams because it's not really a fun process, so... Which is totally fine. See, so, yeah, I don't know. I never got more mirrors, but I don't think I was at those suspensers. Okay, for Gandorf, I think it's just a master of that last infinite, because it just makes sense for the lore purpose. So I totally get that. Like, it's fine to not have weapon switching. Uh, it's a very controlled sword fight, and they probably wanted to keep that. So I think it's just a master sword. Because it's like divine, you know? Uh, <laughs> more in that fight than any other, but... Also, sorry, I didn't really explain what I was doing. Um, I want to build a little spinny. That, that's what I was doing. Okay. Oh, By a little spinny, I mean a big spinny. With the hover stone. We're going to get this right this time. Oh. By right, I mean don't cut the tree. I should just shoot with an arrow. Why do I do what I do? Okay. Okay, just double stack it. Uh, the center ones are the best, I would say. But I think we have to stack them with each other first. Ugh. Right. Um. What's if you want the center thing to turn so it freezes that in place, uh? So I have to think about how we did the other one. Uh, I'm not much of a physics. I am like, uh, you know, I use a lot of templates. Never mind, that worked. I think it was just the way it was built. Okay, yeah, just the way I built it. Perfect. We're gonna get a little silly on this. <laughs> now I'm ready. Because the speed's is stacking, basically. I know you can stack it even more. Could build upside down. Well, that's luckily how we have it. What's a high viv? Okay. 
It's, it's a bit flatter. We tried this at the beach once and it wasn't working the best. There we go. That just wiped out. I'm more so saving the schematic. Uh, let's let's turn off our guys. On off. <laughs> Sweep them in. Well, this is the start of that cave. Okay, it's already doing good. We can build a little bit better though. This is not a bad start though. It's a silly start, and I I, I appreciate those starts. You're such an idiot. <laughs> Oh, you can do hopscotch. Ow. <laughs> I'm not playing this game again. We built a really huge one on the beach once, and I mean, that was just a few streams ago. Uh, it, it was an experience. It certainly was. I'm sure, if I attach a certain thing to this, I could probably do mining, though. Oh, or just that. Nice. And the rattle makes it possible. Thank you for being stuck conveniently, so I don't whack myself. Did I want an off center? I don't know. I'm just kind of <laughs> slapping stuff on. <laughs> you did take a fat nap. That's fair. It's it's a Monday. Best nap day. Because why do stuff? Also, can I ultra random me? I can't. Uh, but I could eat the meat. Also, we got the two chickens from the uh, Wolf Link Amiibo. Power of fried chicken in her hands. Um, now I got a bunch of stuff. Okay, I'm saving these for the Lureling guy. Um, tomato mushroom stew. I'll, I'll have that. Tasty snack. Yeah, the see, thing is it loses its snapping point when it's on there. But I guess if I just... I sound like... I sound like Garfield. I never heard that one before. Um, I'll take it as a compliment. Garfield's very cool. This is fine. And I know I can do some pretty wacky stuff. Let's just do one more. And a steering stick. It's like, don't. It's like, stop, please, stop, please. <laughs> it just goes, I love how it stacks. Okay. Um, one second. Let me figure this one out. <laughs> yeah! Oh, wait. Don't even... Oh, no. Like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm not that crafty. Uh... No, thank you. You know, it's it's fine enough like this, I would say. It has a little bit of pizzazz, you know? Me trying to think how I can get up. Um. Oh wait a second! I literally answered my own question. <laughs> up all the way. Mash a, mash a. No. Oh. <laughs> Just gotta do a little bit more a mashing. If, if you have sensitive eyes, don't look for like twenty seconds. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This could make anyone dizzy. We're at the tilt world now, uh, in the underground lands of the Krenel Peak. And, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> there is no utility to the service. But I. Wait, I can steer it! Kind of. I could, like, stop it at least. <laughs> the emergency brake. But I prefer full force. Or just moving on. Okay, we're all done. <laughs> Could attach a weapon. 
Well, next time we have a blueprint for that. And... Um, let's see now. <laughs> Do I build a ultra weird cannon mechanism? I could, or I couldn't. And I'm going to go with couldn't, because... Here. I learned my lesson last time. I almost didn't. There we go. It'll do its second. It's on auto fire. So he knows not to attack me. You try blowing me up, you're going to get it. Oh. I know I can't parry my own cannonballs, it's just not very. Parry! We got it! Not that one, though. <laughs> it was an exact ting sound. I think that's cool. Nope. Don't do that. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> I think it's cool that you can, though. We're screwed. Ah. <laughs> but really, I do it to myself. Uh, one day I'll get all this. One day. I can't. Wait a second. <gasps> Stop! Stop! <laughs> Mine. <laughs> it's okay. Well. <sighs> Thank you. On a spear, probably much better, but organs do that. We got some crafty combos in there. Oh, I'm not, not gonna lie. It, it was a bit neat. It was a bit neat. If we get a couple more ingredients, I'll be more satisfied. Like a ruby. Is that sticky frogs? No, never mind. Nothing that cool. Bubbles. You just dead. No, I'm sorry. Just get up. I think we got flints. Oh, opal. Minero can parry. I love Minero's parries. I like when Minero does this, but I, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm digging this. Shields work, but that's boring. True. Brute force. No, monkey. These are because we have it. Uh oh. Just a little to the right. And not really up. No. Thank you. Not thank you. What's your plan? Oh, that was a sideways. That's sideways again. It looks like you're... Oh, oh that that's a... Gotcha. You have very odd rules for this, monkey. It's like, I can't trust you. Nope, that's a... I can't tell, he starts it the same way every time. Wait, nope, I, I'm doing... <laughs> no, I, I can't react fast. Okay, when it's slow, when it's slow, it's the other one. Okay, yep, better. <laughs> this has been the worst horrible encounter I've ever had. <laughs> I can't get any... I can't get any. I literally can't. <laughs> Is he unfloryable? I'm. I can't be this bad. Yeah, even that time I jumped. To no, he's unfloryable. Okay. I generally thought I was like skilling issue that whole thing. But I think just because of his position, he can't. <laughs> I was like, at least a couple of those should have worked. Because <laughs> with flurry, like it widens the window a bit, so you could do it even a little earlier. There we go. Just get, just get a big deal. <laughs> I usually like flooring, so yeah, every couple minutes. You could say it's horrible, <laughs> horrible. <laughs> also, I just smash a rock with my hammer weapon. Just two more hits. Awful. Do you want some beams? 
Oh, he does not. <laughs> oh, oh my God! We got the high shield surf. <laughs> Cause yeah, you can you can jump higher with that and then hit him. Wait, no, you can do that. That's actually cool. Like that just hit him because uh, the wing shield allows you to jump higher, but it did damage to knock him down. That's neat. I would say I dig that. Personally, I'm a fan. Okay. That's a little water area. I think it just leads to the water. Like the, the river. I like the caves that are like transitional. So it just kind of takes you to one place to the next. But it'd be neat because it's like a travel option you wouldn't have thought of otherwise, I guess. I haven't used one of those in forever. That's neat. We were right there too, I didn't see it. So Mac has better exits for that reason. Okay, well I did say I want to check out the depths under there. Um, so it seems like this is later because I don't think there's a depths pit here, but rather there's a um, way to get in through the bottom. Did we get that light where we didn't? Oh, it would be like, oh, how about here? Did we get, hmm, maybe go there. Yeah, well, I would like to find a couple royal guards before anything. Okay, I'll we'll get a bit more stuff at 130 shrines now, so we're getting pretty close. That's that's awesome. That's well, been very fun. Thank you to everyone who's been uh, well here and tuning in today. I just like being able to, to do more shenanigans. So we just go that way. It looks. Yep. Okay. At first, it looked like it was blocked off, but. Uh, it's not actually the Kakariko point works pretty well. I'm not gonna fight Armor Guard again. We, we've fought him like a million times in a row. A dragon though. Wow, where are you? Nadra. Okay, I need the. <laughs> Let's play a game of which Nadra part do we need? I guess we'll look at our wild set and see what's all here. I believe we need the claws next. Um, I'll sort it out. Sorry, I need to stop and think for a moment. Um, <laughs> there's too many parts. There we go, the rest are down here. Um, so we have the fangs because I accidentally got those, so it's two claws we need. Nature's like the easiest dragon to get because you're always in, I feel like you're always in Nekluda a lot, you know? It's just a nice area. We're gonna claw through it. I think it's cool that the dragons don't alternate between uh the two realms. Which you may spend like an equal time in each. This was cool because in obviously Breath of the Wild they were in like the sky area for a while, assumedly. Sometimes he came out of the grounds in like, you know, the form of like lakes and stuff like that. But it further cements like duality, like, you know, sometimes depth, sometimes these areas. So. There we go. Awesome. Do I know where my Zonai car went? I don't. So. But okay. First claw obtained. We were only in the depths below, like, the Tingle Islands before, so. I guess we'll see what's over here. Yeah, maybe one time I can build a different type of flying one because I know there's like quadcopters people have made. Or it allows you to have a bit more weight on it without throwing it off. Also, one day I could build the perfect bike because uh, I guess the thing about this one specifically is that uh, you know it's it's 
gonna, always going to be a little crooked, but there's a certain fixed way to build it, like, 100% perfectly, which I never tried yet. It has to do with, like, how you align the parts first and using very controlled methods. Also, what is... Is that a... Is that a... Zora? Longsword. It's been a long time. <laughs> long. <laughs> Longsword. I get it. Wait, that's really good. I, I will take that, indeed. Sorry, we just got one of those. Um, and we're gonna pin you with a thingy. We can go for a pure damage one, because these have good damage. Um, what should we fuse something like that? Because they'll do double damage when we're wet, so... I don't want to have to use a Lionel thing for everything. You know, I might just do this, because then we can have a great, like, Talus Slayer kind of thing. So I said I wasn't going to fight him, but it lines up with what we're needing to do. Down. What the? <laughs> that was a little overkill. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, use that time to walk over. And the ascend's the best way. The Zora opens with Sidon, so we'll have more of a reason to bring him out. This isn't fair. That's why I love it. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to fry through this guy. It's a much better fight when you do it in the dungeon because you get to use the ramps and stuff. Or okay, I just ascend straight up. Uh oh. <laughs> I instantly re realized my mistake. Ooh, you're a little hoppy, aren't you? I think I can, though. Ooh, you gotta get the timing right. So that's another way to do it if you're quick enough. <laughs> oh, nice! The slam at the end. I wasn't even trying for that. He just hopped us up, so it went into the lunge. <laughs> that was great. That was really great. Okay. Um, well, I did that so we can get a nice weapon fuse to this. Or, part. So we get a hammer. It'll do over 100 damage. Uh, good for Taluses or Gleox. We'll have a good weapon for that now. Okay. Um... <laughs> Onwards. Is our little bike still there? I don't... No, it usually despawns. So having a dragon part on something makes the despawn range longer, which is cool. But does it have to be like a fresh dragon part, or can it be like a, a fused part? Like an auto-build sort of part, rather. Sorry. But that is interesting, that having a dragon part on something makes the despawn range a lot bigger. Okay, we're still gonna keep charging to the potential Royal Guard weapons. I think pretty soon I want to do more Gerudo Depths, because I still didn't do any of the rematches for uh, Queen Gibdo. So that'll be cool. Um, and, yeah, also getting the Pristines for the Gerudo weapons. That is another goal. So I could have sworn I saw another one of those button platforms. Maybe not. Oh, up there. I'll, I'll check it really quick and we'll bounce. Oh, auto build works with the dragon parts too? Okay. That's interesting. You can get the range better. <gasps> it's my lucky day, I guess. Uh, more weapons. Mm, sorry. Durability, nice. Um, we'll think about what to fuse with that. It's always fun with the Gleok stuff, because we have the Frost Gleok one. Yeah, right there. Um, but maybe if just for a good damage one, I could go always for... Uh, even a Pikmin's pretty good. I don't need to go that crazy. Have a good excuse to have Sidon on more. 
Yeah. Let's make that our weapon for now. <laughs> it's all shiny still. I can dig that combo. Here, side on so we don't forget to. That's okay. Next time. Hmm. What's everyone's like favorites like weapon types to, like prioritize? Because like obviously, uh, well, there's a lot of types that all do like double damage. So I know even some people like doing like desperate strength type stuff because. If you don't mind the hard blinking, like, you can just always have that double damage with night weapons, which will last you a bit. Um, but I don't know, there really is a lot of different ways to do it, which I find is kind of nice. Um, personally, I think royal weapons are a good default, because, uh, you know, so you can hit a few flurries that are always just nice to have. Uh, I mainly just don't have them all the time anymore, because I just did that so often. Um, yeah, Zora opens with Sidon is really great. And, of course, we have the Gerudo Centaur, but... For any Gerudo weapons that's not the champion one, they do have really low durability. So it's good in the region, but it's not something I'll constantly farm out. That makes sense. Oh, I built that one. I was just trying to get a little bit of a bright thing. Just, just something like that. Oh wait, <laughs> it should activate it. If it doesn't, then... I'll take this. Mm. Yeah, like Gerudo stuff, get a full stack of the Pristines. I mean, I guess the Gerudo Depths is pretty easy to traverse, so you can keep getting the Pristines. Um, we just haven't gotten a lot of those. We've been to some, but not a lot of it yet. Uh, we'll probably do the next stream, because I really want to do the, the Queen Gibda rematches. We didn't find any of the two yet, so... Um, yeah, I'd love to. That's nice. Oh, is that a new mine? It is! I was like, wait a second. Nope, haven't really been to this side yet. Okay, we're gonna drop that there. Arosakum. <laughs> Royal Guard, great for Lynels. That's what I figured, because the, the buff on it, if you stack it with the bone weapon. That was my theory for, like, the most DPS weapon in the game for Lynel. And... Seems after looking stuff up, or just seeing stuff on the internet now, it seems to be true. So Muldugan Jaw on a Royal Guard Claymore, restored one. Pristine one. Um, yeah. That's one of the big reasons why I want to do that, because I want to actually test it out myself. Because um, I haven't seen that yet. But it just makes sense. It's like, if weapons don't break on Lionel's backs, and if you have the extra damage from a Royal... Like a Royal Guard weapon... Uh, you do it with the bone armor and with the bone attachment because you get the 80% attack buff on top of that. Theoretically, that should have been the best weapon, and it is, so that's actually cool. There we go. That's cool. And yeah, royal stuff always good. Proceed on the soldier stuff because the charge, that's very, yeah, very, very fun. I'm happy some other stuff had that too. It's kind of like, uh, well, specifically like the, like the dragon armors do a lot with the charge buff in their respective weathers. But yeah, especially the soldier stuff, uh, healing weapons, soldier stuff, that's a good combo. Also, wait, this is a ye Were we here before? No, we weren't. Kakariko Yiga! Oh, wait! Oh. That would only make sense it'll be lurking down here. Strange rock piles have been seen all over this area. Climbing them is challenging, but not impossible. Where they may have settlers? I don't know. Rock piles. Oh, okay. The, the soldier offerings. Pretty creepy. Weapons have sort of gleam to them. Interesting. Okay, so that actually points that out. Yeah. Duality of the fallen soldiers. They don't want to move on until they can help the hero one more time. I like how there's a lot of significance behind the depth stuff that's never explicitly explained. 
But sick. Yeah, they're all fallen soldiers from like battles or the Great Calamity. Um, it's like, you know, the thought and belief that you can't move on as a spirit until you were able to ensure your usefulness. Which I, what is, yeah, I find that really cool. Sorry. <laughs> no words. Um, I like how you find that stuff most commonly under like battlegrounds, like the Akala Citadel or uh, like Hyrule Castle Town ruins. There's like huge clumps of those soldier ghosts, which is very neat. A lot of times they're making like a Triforce shape too, which, yeah. <laughs> Ever connecting lore. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it's a fully abandoned mine. I wonder where they went. I was hoping to find another scheme of st stone thingy. I'm just running out of stamina constantly because I I don't pay attention. That's okay. I'll sleep on the Shika Snake Sneak a Sneak Shrek combo for uh boss Bacoblins. I never got the pristine ones yet. I know they're going to be under a lot of like the Pluto area, but it's one of the bigger depths area we didn't go under. So yeah, as soon as I find pristines of those, I will be using them more. We got a pristine of the eight foot long blade because uh, we got it from that one wing cleaver quest line or blade master quest line, whatever. Oh, there is. Oh, <laughs> can't believe we passed you. Hello, researcher. Um, what's wrong? Can't seem to get it working. I don't know how to activate them. <laughs> I'll rough you up a little. Find a way to make you talk. We want to talk whatever, just regardless. <laughs> He's gonna hit the spikes. Oh wow! He's a little army this time. Okay, now we're full. Get clubbed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Spawning right on me. So Stupid bow guy. That's what it's for. Just crafty guys like you. <laughs> Water shot. <laughs> That's all it takes. I love the water shots. They're very fun. Yeah, I don't know how many of the stones we have uh, for these, but we'll figure it out soon. Oh, over one run that isn't. Mm. You know, Koga run. Launch pad. Oh, cool. Huh. It's like a, it's like a catapult, I think. That type of launch pad. Yeah, you don't need the, the pristine ones for the Sheikah weapons. That's fair. I just want a pristine one because it'll be cool to make it. Because we were using... Sheikah weapons earlier in the playthrough, but then kind of stopped because I didn't use stealth as much later on. Uh, but it's only because, you know, just there's so many different options. Okay, we will get that next because first I'm going to clear out stock here. Yeah, I always buy the giant cores, which um, now we're actually empty on because I was using them to upgrade parts. A lot of those tier uh, four, or, or tier four armor upgrades, sorry, require them. We can honestly just run around and get a bunch. Uh, and uh, apparently there's a use for these after you get all of them. Um, I'm going to hold back. I'm just going to max out on these ones. Maybe soon we'll just do a binge, just go to every single one. Buy out all of them and get like a hundred. Maybe that's and uh, more of the capsules I might get off stream just because it's tedious. So, because we'll stream again Wednesday after this, we'll just keep going for a bit more. Uh, as long as we have the stuff, 
be very bad. Launch pad. Oh! Wait. I, oh, I see how this works. <laughs> nice. It's just a sideways kind of spring thing, but it's very controlled, which is good. Nice. I like how there's a little uh, reward tied to every single one, though. That's always cool. And like, sometimes there's like little things on those, huh? Even like the small charges. I'm not gonna worry about it this time, though. I'll look for chests, and if there's no chests, then we bounce. No, it's usually just the one. Okay. Um, I didn't expect that, honestly. Maybe let's head up that one. I don't know what the fastest way to travel would be. I think just the bike is kind of still the best, you know, for just long distance like this. Not even a catapult could have too much on that. Hmm. Um, that was kind of funny. I'm trying to think of what things we don't need. I, I like my boat. I feel like we could build better boats, you know? This thing was not fair. I I more so kept it because the nostalgia it was the first ever flying machine we really tried, but I don't think I really need it. Thank you. You were awesome, though, when we did try you. In the meantime, I am going to go... Not one of you. The last spinner we made was kind of fun. Um, or rather, this one was a bit better. Yeah, just for like a basis of a spinner, we will set his favorite for now and probably swap it as we make better ones. It was silly, so I like silly. I wish it had more slots, though. If I focus on building more, I'm sure I'm some later playthroughs. I'm going to want to have like 30 of them. Build really silly robots because it's fun and silly. I like all the different combinations for that. Uh, fuse combos for weapons, so customizations for weapons and vehicles. Uh, even like Minero doing more stuff with that is always fun. Also, can we get this? Uh, we can. Hit it. Yes, we did it. Okay. It's a rare one, too. Interesting. Very glad. Okay. <laughs> you know, what's a. Ah, decent hammer weapon. I'm gonna go with this. Oh, wait. You're a rare. I'm actually gonna go a little OP. <laughs> should we go water? We should go water. So, Sidon's great for that, but when you don't have Sidon, I prefer a little uh, splash jelly. I wish it went to the last thing. Never mind. We're going with this. 110. Uh, I don't know. Just a <laughs> couple damage, please. We're going to get hit regardless. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> that does a lot. How do we finish him off? Uh, the basic bow. Uh oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wrong direction. Thank you. <laughs> Good thing no regen, because... Yeah, I would have gotten a little screwed. What the? Rock! <laughs> Get out. I don't know how long the wet list lasts, because sometimes it's just a few seconds, but... I'm less than a bit for that already. Because we could have Master Sorted. What am I waiting from the DLC? Uh, a master mode would be cool, because I, you know, playing with those elevations will be fun. Uh, although, it may, well, hopefully they adjust some of the zoning devices in correspondence, like the beams, because otherwise you just won't be doing a lot of damage with those. Because in, like, Breath of the Wild, there's a lot of, like, you know, creative shots using, like, bomb barrels or hitting objects with magnesis, but in master mode, uh, 
those damages weren't buffed with the mode, so it was more so like brute combat. Everything else didn't have much of an effect, so I hope everything's balanced better around the master mode and the increased enemy health. Otherwise, if like enemies have more health, but you know, zone I beams and bombs don't do more damage, then it may be not as fun. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, because there's some crazy stuff you can build, so I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah, but Master Mode, also like a Trial of the Sword type, but it's also me with my Breath of the Wild brain. I just think it'll be cool. Koram. Morok. Morok would be the Shrine equivalent. Oh, there's a, a ring. Yeah, I do remember doing more. Oh yeah, that was the one where I first saw the gloom hands. I remember it was like the spring shrine. <laughs> the only shrine we didn't get all the chests out of because we did a pre paraglider and it was very tricky. And it was like day two of the game being out, but it was an experience I'll never forget. Really a great time. I think it's a construct platform up ahead. <laughs> Clearly. <gasps> Gibdo? <gasps> Wait, that's one of them? Wait. I thought it was going to be the desert. Okay, I know somewhere a little bit far, but that far? Okay, Kolgaro is both in Hebrew. That makes sense. Uh, Muk Doctorak, yes. I guess Goma is like can be all the way down here. Yeah, that's really a Goma one. That's very far. Okay, so this is why there's a higher level dust region. It's because of a. Uh, I guess the Gibdo rematches are here? Or at least one of them. Okay, we're gonna take all these weapons. At least uh, cycle them out. Oh my god. I never refought this boss. Queen Gibdo. Okay, there we go. Oh, it literally is the mushroom. Oh, no light though, sadly. We need our Bosa. Mini Arbosa. Oh, I missed this fight. <laughs> it was the only one I haven't redone. But well, I guess the finale. And uh spirit one. <laughs> oh, they're not spawned yet. That makes sense. I'm messing up. <laughs> Alright, get around. I don't know if there's a special counter way to flurry or anything. Woo! Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Hit the tails. Weaken him down. <laughs> That's not a bad fight. <laughs> it's when all the guys come out. Is there actually okay? You just have more places to run this time. Oh, wait, you can pop the bullet. Wait a second. You can pop the bullet time this way with the wing shield. Wait, that is so helpful. Ah, oh, they're chasing. Okay, we have uh, some. Oh, we do have elements of something. Right. <laughs> okay, it instantly takes care of, so. It's convenient. Oh, you don't drop loot, too. There, but crap. I forgot. Woo. Still gonna fly a bit. Die. These rods are really good for this. No. You can still get them. Got the Talus Heart on this. That was close. 
I don't know if I can flurry anything like that. Let's give him enough and then I'll... Yep, okay. <laughs> Pretty easy when you finally break its guard. Just move Gibdo people. Dazzle fruit? Okay. Maybe I can try that next time. Wait, what's the drop going to be? Gibdo parts, maybe? Because I don't know. I think it'll be like the other two. Maybe more like the Octorok. Oh, no, it's a unique part. Oh, wait, that's cool. What is it, though? Queen Gibdo Wang. Huh. I almost don't know where to try it on. Um, I feel like I don't have a lot of excellent stuff. I could infuse that. I don't need somebody... It might be a wind thing, honestly. I think that would make sense. Um, I don't think I need quick charge. And night weapons, of course, I don't need. Um, it's like I gotta try it with the weapon first, you know? Um, <laughs> Feathers. Sorry, I'm going with this. Plus 40. Okay, yeah. No point in putting on a feather sword. So, it's that. I wonder how the shield works with it then. So, that creates a wind weapon. That's very cool, actually. Um, I don't know. It was just something. I wonder if we do it on a shield or create like a wing shield, but I feel like that's not a good use of something like this. This is plus 40 damage. That's really... Well, that's the best in terms of damage, actually. Which makes sense, because it's like the later boss. Oh, okay. Well, that is what the final rematch is like, so that's cool. And nice to see, finally. Oh, wait, there's a chest. There's a stupid chest. Uh, <laughs> one second, I'm dumb. I feel like no zone night, so we have one more ride after this. Let's make a count. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, <laughs> we didn't make that count. <laughs> Thanks for landing semi neatly. Actually, yeah. How can I almost forget the chest? That can't give me what I need. Nice, 100. Well, it's Eternals in soon. We almost are at max battery. Bye bye. <laughs> Ooh, good one down. Blue. Hmm. <laughs> like I have infinite think time. Like sure, yeah, I, I need all that. Okay, let's let, wait for this to recharge a bit. Have a little fun with it, you know. A lot of silvers, huh? Puffy? Puffy. <laughs> okay. Now I need a snook strike weapon, but serves the job. Yeah, just oh, we gotta loot him first. <laughs> that can be arranged. That was a lot of silvers. I see why it's a high level area. Very tricky, obviously. Very, very tricky. That's like all silvers though, that's crazy. Technically one of the few high level depths regions, so... I guess I can understand. Minero and Tulin. Both of you. Hello. <laughs> Get that extra reach. Last guy can die soon. Well, it's good to get parts. Oh, sure could just use that one. As if I knew. I got fire. Do you want fire? Wait, <laughs> you literally landed it again. Wait, can we self-strike? No. 
I should have jumped off. Because I don't know, like, at first I was very surprised you could parry at Minero. So I'm like, stealth strike? No. That's what we call a stretch. Am I doing a 300k sub special now? Uh, only because it just happened, like, all during this. So it's like, I'm already, you know, playing through the game. I, I didn't have any runs planned because just this. So, I mean, I guess my next challenge ready one can kind of be that. Uh, but it just won't be for, well, the stream soon, the video for at least a few weeks because I got to edit it. So it's just the timing of me getting 300k was very, uh, you know, not good for making a whole challenge run when I'm still playing through the base game, so. But yeah, it'll be something. There we go. Yeah, we did it. Right, for the Queen Gibdo fight, you almost walked away from the chest, too. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's fair. It's like, I did it. Next thing. Especially if there's like a light root in the distance. Just like you keep going and zoom in. Obligatory sun delay. Oh yeah, I love jumping at him. I don't know if I left my thing. <laughs> you know, we're rolling. Just having a great time. Boomerangs. Forgot about those. Oh, it's actually attack up 10. That's the best one you could get besides giants, I guess. Use this for everything because we found a couple today. And splash <laughs> with shock. Boomerang. Nice. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, get him. No, get, get the bad guy. Goodbye, Boomerang. <laughs> okay. Activating everyone <laughs> under the sun. Woo! <laughs> Not that. But this is okay. Yeah. Expectation. I'm gonna probably just burnt up my Boomerang, but... I was only partially excited. Just excited that I got something like that. Not that it's needed. <laughs> very floaty with those. I'm like, oh, cool. Good weapon, but unneeded one. We're being extra selective now. Later in the playthrough, more the selectiveness. Bye-bye. That was just for the reach. We almost had zero zone I before this, so. Or even better. The mining operation always got it. I'm gonna plop a thing right there. Yeah, any of those platforms shaped like that. I'm gonna take a boulder. I don't mind if I do. I see a bunch of these, so. It's all kind of one linear stretch to the, the back line. Royal stuff, good. And we're seeing Royal Guard soon, it makes sense that there would be Royal. To swap out my whole inventory. What are you dealing with? L long throw's okay. Might honestly swap that. I love the long throw hammers, but besides that, still long throw. Alright, also if you sprint on it. Typically sprint speaking you have to be sprinting, is what I noticed. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. Sometimes I get it consistently. If you stand still for a bit. There we go. I think it's just like a specific way to mount. Lionel! Oh, you were under a stable. Isn't there Lionel's under every stable? Besides one. Oh, it's literally in a gloom pit, too. Hello. Woo! 
You're a, yeah, you're a silver. There we go. Just taking off that armor. Let me just well, it's on. <laughs> well, uh, it was nice knowing you. Or actually, spoke too soon. You have a lot of health. <laughs> Ooh, we got the head this time. Very odd hitbox. Wait, there's oh, a little battle platform. Ow. <laughs> Don't pick me off, please. He's gonna fireball me. It's like the only safe spot. <laughs> I don't have a lot of this world, Lionel. Okay. You know what? I need to brighten up. It's a little too hazy over here. Oh wait, there's a there's a whole area over here. Would have been nice to see. Okay, keep doing that same move. Oh wait, nope. Good. Just gotta get the last one. Not my seed. I know Tulin's trying to get those headshots. Would be very helpful. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Ooh, lightning kill. Just the best for uh, Lionel. Yeah. Now we get more of those horns. Very nice. Uh, if I need another bow, I... You know, yeah, you can just always swap one for one. Oh, never mind. Not a scaling one. So I guess this is just a natural silver lionel spawn. It didn't scale to it. It just... This area is naturally hard. The only thing that sucks is you can't get the modifiers, but... It's okay. It's still... <laughs> savage lionel bow. It's good regardless. I am going to wing shield this one because I, I have been a fan. It's cool that you can literally pop the ball all the time. So at first it was like, oh, just like a high jump. I don't know. It just throws some utility. There most definitely is good utility. I, I dig that a lot. All of our random silly shields. We can need shield something. I'm sure of it. Cut, cut some meat. I don't know how the stats compare to all the d other types of, uh, you know, sl slippery shields like the sled ones, but they're good. And for now, that's all I need to know. You know, what if you had a chicken leg? Do chicken leg shields work the same? I would assume they're all the same. So many parts. I can't. Oh. If you hit it. <laughs> Oh, you can't. I don't want to waste all of them trying, but. Okay. Just, just a little detrimental. <laughs> it slides. Does it actually. It, it may. I don't know. Let's try it in a good slope next time. Did we find a shrine there? I don't remember. I would have to look at the surface. Oh, it, right, it's by there. Okay. And yeah, Lionel's under stable. That's that's just so cool because it's like horses and stables up above, evil horse down below, horse man monster. Mm. What about the homing cart with shield surfing? I tried it and. It feels like it would push you forward a bit, and it kind of does, but the friction's bad, and since it only moves at one speed, it doesn't actually help all too much. Like, it's, it feels sleek for like a moment because it has that grip of the cart, but then uh, it doesn't last long. So they're kind of awkward. I don't know how the stats differ in that, but uh, just too long didn't read. They don't work too well, so. Oh, yeah, I guess these areas must be really deep areas because these are hills. And everything's mirrored. I'll let you guys deal with the foxes. Thank you. Oh, 
All right, it's gonna start getting pretty wide, actually. Just still chasing. Guess they have no nothing really better to do. I like how those guys are like the natural wildlife down here, though. Just foxes and I guess stall enemies. Let's make a little more brightness. There we go. Brighten up your day a bit. Be nice and lively. So what's that? Bomb? Wait, those are funny. Personally, a big bomb connoisseur. Yeah, pairs well with I get it. Bombs. <laughs> there we go. A little bit of mining. This guy separated. You guys deal with him, okay? <laughs> we got him a separate <laughs> astray. Oh, puff shroom. Just keep out. Why do I boulder? We should have said like a pushing sort of thing, you know? I think that's... No. We like a pushing arrow. I don't know if there's a certain arrow that does that. That would be very nice though. Always get batted around. The dunes. Hello. Uh oh. This is silly horn. Psst, 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 psst. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry. I need your head. Use your head. No. Use mine. Ow. I can't win. I almost gave up. <laughs> yeah, just sick all these away. I don't know why I did that. I'm trying to flurry. It does increase his angriness, though. Oh, I'm trying to get him to get the ore. It's my job. Thank you. I like these sickle weapons though. We just found this from the chest, but well, we can always make more. They just look sick. Sickle. Mm. Thank you. It's always a puff shroom, someone getting hit by it. I mean, I'm not trying to cheese everything with stealth. Using a knight's broadsword uh, with a silver lionel horn being on one heart. Make 160 damage weapon. That's really good. Yeah, it does for strength stuff's really fun. I just don't use it all the time. Maybe because I just don't always want to be blinking. But like, early in a playthrough when I was, you know, close to one heart. So it was easy to get myself purposely to one heart for it. Yeah, that stuff's really awesome. But it is cool. I might as well fire it. I don't know. <laughs> kind of just have it. All right, guys. Who's next? Riju. <laughs> the back flips and everything. Nice. Yeah, we'll get kick started here. <laughs> Thank you. Who was gonna finish? Yunobo. Oh my God! The slow motion kill. <laughs> that was great. I love how you know what just clunks him at the end. And it walks away all, probably. Yeah. Sorry, that was just cool. Mm. Oh. Maybe that meat's not good. Wait, does it, will it actually work better with, like, better cuts of meat? 
Sounds so weird saying that. Uh, yeah. Maybe this meat shield will work better with a flatter piece of meat. It's okay, just don't slide too much. Oh, it does actually. Okay, so the flatness actually matters, which makes sense, but I didn't expect it to be that elaborate, which is very cool. Pattern. So it's probably a mine, just like the others, but. Colonel Canyon. The only weapon I'm missing is the hero shield. Um, but also, I am missing quite a few tunics. Ravio's hood, I'm missing. There's something. Yeah, quite a few green tunics. Ravio's hood. Um, and then the hero shield. We'll find it out. Your prime meat's the best for surfing. <laughs> I mean, it's also flat, but this is like flatter, right? Hmm. There we go. Anyone from Nintendo upper management go skydiving? <laughs> I'm sure some of them had to feel the experience in order to learn for this game. <laughs> Not really, though. Uh, it's possible. Me personally, I can't do anything that involves too much motion. Uh, one, I get motion sickness, and two, I'm very clumsy. Um, I tried going skiing earlier this year, and let's just say I'll rather stick to uh, surfing in Breath of the Wild or this game, because yeah, I have awful balance, and just the motion will get to me at high speeds, which means I'm not a roller coaster person either, and I guess which also means yeah, never uh, well, skydiving of any sort. for spamming. Uh, <laughs> let's see. This mine. Yeah, some of these mines, it's like, it's just like the the 20 the crystallized things. But sometimes it'll be like an actual, like, past hero item. Which I think the first past hero item we got was in the Hebrew Depths, and it was a uh, Seabreeze Boomerang. Which makes me wonder if, like, there's only one of each for the weapons. Because for the tunics, it makes sense, but... Like, is the only Seabreeze Boomer you can get in the Hebrew one? And then afterwards, obviously, you'll find it elsewhere. That I don't know. But, interesting, that was the first one we got, so I was really surprised. I'm like, okay, yeah, they all made a comeback. Which I like that, because, you know, the past hero stuff is cool, and it's not just amiibo. Okay. Let's see what this could be. Still rocking the milk lighter, because milk is good. Oh, Scarlet Sword! We have one for Amiibo. A couple of them we got for Amiibo, so it's kind of awkward. Because I was just doing Amiibos for the, uh, um, you know, the, the paraglider skins, but you can always get that too. Okay, so we have Awakening. Um, we have Wilds with the Breath of the Wild one. The original Link one, we have one piece. Uh, Ocarina, we have two. Wind, oh, almost done with Moon Waker. Twilight is full, and then I think Skyward Sword is the last one, so... We only have one of the OG and Skyward Sword, and so still some blanks, you know. But I would like, love to get all these upgraded. Um, we'll just need to find a good Star Fragments farming method, I think, first. Um, we'll figure that out. But yeah, just around this area, Royal Guard weapons. Seems to be a death thing. I I would assume it's in that one cave that's here. Assuming it's still there. Because that could be cool. Uh, a lot more of the depths. I think next stream will be a depth stream. I think that'll be... Very fun. Check out a lot of these X's. Yeah, between all these, it should be everything we need. Uh, it seems like a lot, so there's probably even some things I'm not even thinking of. Uh, yeah. 
even going up there more. More of the Gerudo stuff. Apparently, a lot of high-level Royal Guard stuff is here. So maybe that's more there. Um, you know, here, I mean. We'll figure it out. Just get an awesome inventory. Check out lots of cool mines and whatever could be down here. More Yiga, Schema Stones to play around with. But, uh, yeah, let's save up right here. We've been going for five hours, so I'm probably going to end for tonight. But, yeah, Wednesday night, uh, I'll make sure to have... Or not Wednesday night, sorry. I'm scatterbrained. Uh, Wednesday, like, midday, like, around the same time as today, we'll stream again. Um, yeah, I'm excited. We'll probably do a lot more depth stuff and kind of just whatever. Maybe de depths, a little bit of more desert. Um, kind of see how things go. Um, so that's our first plan, just do more because we got to catch up. Then probably in the near future after that, I'm thinking like Highlands, Satori Mountain, because that's basically untouched. Especially Satori, a little bit of Highlands. Um, yeah, so we'll figure that out. Uh, and yeah, we'll probably start by exploring the rest of this. Uh, I think my eyes are just getting a little too tired, and I probably shouldn't stream more than five hours anyways. Uh, we just had some really crazy streams earlier in this playthrough. Um, but yeah, all those streams can be found in the description, as always. We'll try for all, all this type of stuff. Um, Playthrough updates in the description, which I'll update it after this, too, for the next one. But, uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night uh, and a good start to your week, because it just kind of started. Um, we'll be back again Wednesday, and then, uh, yeah, let's see what happens then. So, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Um, again, Baby Floyd says goodbye, and uh, so long. <laughs>